What's going on, guys? Welcome to it, guys. Holy smokes, we got a crowd in here already. We got Hella Wood, Delta One, Atlas Galacticus, Derek P, Golden Geck, Jasper Beardley, Seriously He's Gaming, Ryder S, what's up, dude? Randy Nichols, Beeble Bum, Hyperion, and Janet, what is up, guys? Welcome to it. Good to see everybody. I know it has been a long time, so please forgive, please forgive me if I'm very, very rusty at this, because uh, I am definitely, definitely, definitely hadn't done this in a while. Nuffy Noel, how is it going? I hope I pronounced that correctly. What is up, Captain Pugwash and Rustbeard? How's it going, guys? Welcome, welcome. All right, today we're going to be playing some No Man's Sky uh, Permadeath. I have been, since the Omega Expedition dropped, I have been hitting No Man's Sky extremely hard. Um... Unfortunately, um, I found out that most of my main normal mode saves I hadn't played since Frontiers. <laughs> so it was a, a a lot of catching up. Rolling 106, dude, thank you for the five spot, buddy. Thank you, dude. Great to see you too, buddy. Boondock Gaming, what's up, dude? How you doing, buddy? Pwn Stream, what's up, dude? Oh my goodness, man. We... We we seeing some seeing some guys that were here in, in the in the beginning beginning. I think uh Ryder S Ryder S watched my very first live stream. <laughs> he's been he's been with the channel a long, long time. What is up, Matthew Hanzo? How's it going? Jeffus lives, how's it going, dude? Shocking all, welcome to it. Zane's world, dude. Thank you for the raid, my friend. Welcome, Zane Raiders. Holy smokes. Bruce Welsh, how's it going? Dark Lord, there he is. What's up, buddy? Old Explorer, good to see you too, buddy. Josh Fall, how's it going? Cool, cool, guys. Sp Z, Spock, Z, how's it going? I'm going to call you Spock. I think that's what it, I think that's what you intended with that. Jazz Vision, welcome to it. No Gaming, how's it going? Heck yeah. Cloud finally woke up. Thank you, Cloud. Appreciate that. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, buddy. Much appreciated, Roland. Chris G, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel, buddy. Midnight Oil, how's it going, dude? Welcome, welcome, buddy. All right. Darth Tre Trethon. 
I hope that's how I pronounce it. Welcome to it, but good to see you streaming again. Heck yeah, it's been a while, man. I was looking, I think it's been nine months since my last stream, guys. Thank you, Beeble Bum. Welcome, welcome, guys. Agent Serco, how's it going, buddy? Thanks, guys. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Slap that like button. Treat it gentle. Don't smack it. Just, just be gentle with it. It's old and rusty, and I don't know if it still works, so just tap it. It's old, it's old, outdated, obsolete equipment. It's been so long since uh, since uh, I've, I've had anybody using it. So. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> Will Badger, what's up, buddy? Who would ever thought you'd still do such things? <laughs> Diana the Duck, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, guys. Awesome sauce, guys. Glad to have you guys. Holy smokes. All right. And as you can see, we got the trusty sword sword mug because uh, we are an alpha rebel. Yeah. Chrissy Ken, welcome to it. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, guys, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. A lot of things uh, in life has, uh, has changed up a bit. Uh, I mean, I'm still the old sword, but yeah, um, I definitely had to give up the Red Bull, guys. Uh, so yeah, I haven't had a Red Bull in seven or eight months. It's been a minute. Miguel Garcia, how's it going? Yes. Oh, awesome. Janet, thank you for the five spot. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, guys. 07, uh, who was it? Rolling 106 and Janet in the chat for me. Sazable, what's up, Sazzy? Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. There we go. Yes, it is, Will. It's horrible for you. But yeah, I, I, it was getting um, it was getting bad. I was drinking a lot and drinking a lot of it. And I just, yeah, it, I was... I would be sitting still playing a video game uh, in here on the weekends and my heart would start racing and just for no reason. And I said, hey, that's getting scary. Let's call it. Let's cut it out. And see ya. Doing good. Was playing Twisted Metal. Oh, nice, dude. The PS nice, dude. Awesome sauce. I, man, I ain't played Twisted Metal in a long time. Holy smokes. That's some, that's some old school right there, buddy. Yeah, it is not good. But, and and to be fair, I finally had to like um I had like a um, I don't know what what would you call it? Um not really an awakening. I finally had to kind of um, recognize the fact that I'm getting a little older and uh I can't be doing the stuff I used to do in the 20 when I was 20s. <laughs> so yeah. I, I'm trying to try to try to Slow her down a little bit. Awesome Beeble Bum, dude. Awesome sauce, man. Guys, oh seven Beebs in the chat, dude. Thank you, man. Heck yeah, dude. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. Guys, oh seven Beebs for that. I have the same with Coke. No, I'm still drinking the Mountain Dew and the Dr Pepper, so I'm I'm still still on the soda. I just had to give up that Red Bull. That stuff was a uh, that stuff's gonna put me in the grave early. Daniel Hipley, how's it going, dude? Uh, sword makes starships. Good luck, bro. Or good luck too. Yeah, man. Oh, I, which to be fair, I haven't made but one of them since uh, Orbital dropped. Um, I just I've been so busy uh, working on my working on my saves. Uh, now, those of you that um, I know Zane mentioned it on one of his streams a couple weeks ago. Um, call let him know um, the. The UAS Harvest in Isentam and the UAS uh, Golden Royal Mint in Euclid. Um, I've went through with well, the Harvest was the one, the new one I built. Um, the Golden Royal Mint, they're all fully functional stasis device farms. All of them are up and running and updated uh, for you guys. Uh, and you can find all those on the uh, zanesworld.com website. Cool, cool. 46. Hey, you ain't you ain't much older. You ain't much older than me, Daniel. I'm right there behind you, bud. Cool, cool. How's your beautiful wife, sir? She's at work right now. Yeah, my mean, mean wife. The Mrs. Sword's mean to me. Y'all guys think she's just the sweetest thing. She's mean, really mean. Awesome sauce. I'm 50 and stop drinking, smoking drugs, everything. Oh, nice. Hey, congratulations, Matthew. That's, I'm telling you, man. Quitting smoking. Drinking's rough. 
drinking sodas and diet stuff, but smoking is tough, man. I still use my vape. Um, but I tell you what, man, you never lose the desire for, for a cigarette. I mean, it gets better and I'm to the point now where I can smell cigarette smoke and it kind of, you know, it puts me off a little bit, but yeah, there's days. She's the one who took away your Red Bull. No, 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 no. She, honestly, she's the one that's been encouraging me to stream for a while. It's kind of like, when you get out of here, why don't you go stream? <laughs> Uh, gonna be 25. I know, right? At, uh, yeah, I know, right? Shock. Shugu Archer, welcome to it, man. Uh, just turned 36 two weeks ago. Well, belated happy birthday to you, Sazzy. I'm gonna be honest with you. In a completely friendly plutonic way, you don't look 36. You look much younger. Y'all guys confirm that in the chat. Yeah, I was uh, hanging out with Sazzy, uh, ER Burrows. Um, what was, who was that other feller? Um, I can't remember the gentleman's name. It was with us and Azrath on his podcast yesterday. So I put the link in the sword discord in the self promotion yesterday. So if you guys get a chance to check it out, go check it out. We had an awesome conversation uh, about this new update and uh, actually had a good time with these guys. So what is up? Golden, golden geck, Mr. Awesome sauce. That's right, buddy. Uh, the, credit, the, sm the smell of cigarettes. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, dude. Um, Midnight oil, dude. Thank you, buddy. Heck yeah, dude. Thank you for the 10 spot. Glad to see you. You have been missed. Guys, 07 Midnight Oil in the chat. No, it is true, Sazzy. It is true. Uh, you from Texas or Georgia? And I'm from the awesome state of North Carolina. Like, yeah. The, this this drawing dialect, there, there's only like a, a 50, 50 mile radius of, of North Carolina that I get people from the east side of the state say, where are you from? <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. All right, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Make sure. Jason, please. Holy smokes. Dude, thank you for the 10 spot. Haven't seen this. Oh, man, dude, thank you, man. Much, much appreciated. Guys, 07 at Jason plays in the chat. Freaking awesome, dude. And welcome to it, guys. Good to see. You. All right, so I'm gonna quit yapping and and uh and 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 talking and let's uh let's get into some gameplay here, guys. Um, ba -ba -ba, click on that screen. There we go. All right, so I'll just give you a little uh, tour of the of the of the saves, dude. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right, so basically, uh, Sword Three was at 79 hours. Uh, when o the Omega update dropped. Um, Sword 2 was 193 hours, 197. This one was this one was above 300, but I put about 25 hours into that one. Uh, my permadeath, I just started back up on. So, oh yeah. Awesome sauce, Matthew. Heck yeah. Galveston, nice, nice. Reminds me, instead of make a sign about Jason. <laughs> Golden Gek, holy smokes. <laughs> We're all doing it. Oh, dude, thank you, buddy. Freaking A, man. Guys, 07 at Golden Gek. Man, y'all are get Man, Cloud hasn't had to work this hard in months. Y'all are going to break Cloud. He's uh, he, he's probably cussing already. He's like, dude, why'd you have to start streaming today? I, I had plans tonight. <laughs> Heck yeah. What's up, Tragus? How's it going, buddy? Let's see. Nice. I found the stream button again. Yeah, man. All right. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Cool. All right. So uh, bu, 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 bu. let's go to Perma. This is a Perma stream. Let's stay on Perma. That's a heavy sword cloud. I know, right? <laughs> Freaking. I got him to. I bought him the imitation phone one a while back because I got tired. Like my insurance wouldn't cover his carpal tunnel or his a uh, rotator cuff injuries, so I had I had to get him as a had to get him an imitation phone uh, buster sword. God, God, that's some grass. <laughs> Let's see if we get to tear up again. Oh no! Don't try. Don't no. Don't try. Don't try. I'm I'm so old and dusty. My tear ducts have dried up, buddy. I'll just, it'll be like dry heaves. <laughs> oh, nice. It started me right where I left out. That's awesome. I figured it put me, I saved right before I come out here and uh, 
took a screenshot. So that's awesome. All right, guys. So this is the um, Ethan dude. Thank you for uh, thank you for subscribing, buddy. Welcome to the channel. All right, let's try not to get killed falling off this thing in permadeath. All right, so this is um. There's a system that Lava Lamps uh, had shared on the Discord a while back that the uh, derelict freighter uh, guaranteed S-Class modules and the hyperdrives were uh, guaranteed uh, 250 light years at the time. I don't know what they are now, but I decided uh, I had a base set up by the portal and I already started building this base before I realized uh, it was that system. So this is kind of like a, this kind of like it probably won't show up for other players, but it, it'll be a good home base for my perma save. Okay, got up my donut. Oh, dude, thank you, Janet. Freaking awesome, guys. 07 Janet in the chat. Let me get off energy. Oh, definitely, bud. Definitely. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Thank you very much, Janet. Guys, 07 Janet in the chat. 07 Janet there. What's up, Pete? How's it going, buddy? Heck yeah, Will. Yeah, I give up at Red Bull for a while, man. Uh, crazy hypersense of tear ducts. Yeah, that's what it was, man. <laughs> cool, cool, man. Uh, sorry, P Red Bull on a drip system. No, no, man. I, I, yeah, I, just, I was, I was telling the chat earlier. I was, get, I didn't give up the, uh, I had to give up the Red Bull, man. That stuff was a, uh, it, it, it had the whole dug for me. It was just waiting on me to get close enough to trip me at the to into my grave, so I had to give them up. Quit coffee ever a year ago. Nice, Matthew. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, man, caffeine withdrawal, and I'll, I will tell you this, guys. I had um, I had some bad... I don't know if it was the um, taurine or whatever it was in the Red Bull, but I had some really bad withdrawals. Like, it was two or three weeks I was having migraines. But once, yeah, Ripple, yeah, Ripple's hurt. Ripple's hurting right now, man. Their stock didn't drop. But yeah, it it took me a couple weeks before I quit having a, a migraines. So yeah, it was a, it was tough. But like I said, I didn't completely come off the, come off the caffeine. So it wasn't like a really bad shock to the system. Probably why they cost. More. That might be it. Shocking all. I just, they're choosing they did not want to sell free peach pools, so they stopped. From, that's right, peeps. <laughs> oh man. Uh, nicotine acid is made out. Oh, what? Ooh, brutal. Will that is a a completely gross fact. <laughs> but nice to know. All right, so I haven't even. Uh, Nice. Heck yeah. Cloud, Cloud's uh, lagging behind today. Heck yeah, Janet. Much appreciated. Source of delivery. I, I, I'll be honest with you, man. That, that probably did. That probably did affect him a little bit. He's probably glad he ain't got to carry that 40-pound uh, case of Red Bull to my door every 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 week or two. <laughs> All right. So I haven't even got this base planted yet. I Honestly, I just started on the permadeath save last night. Um, I did uh, earlier this morning... Um, I didn't even give it a name yet. Went and got the um, uh, Dreadnought. Um, got a Dreadnought uh, freighter. Oh, thank you, Ethan. Much appreciated. Train post next to a po I know, dude. There's there's a um, there's a I think a monolith on one side of the mountain. Uh, there's a minor settlement. Uh, there's a um, right direct, almost directly under the base is an autophage uh, interaction. Um, then I got that, uh, art, um, was it the artifact? Uh, I lost, lost train of thought. Right there with like a trade post. And then I got the portal right there. So. Uh, Rebel gives you wings, gives wings, but apparently not yet. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Matthew. Yeah, like I said, I haven't even, I don't even have, like, this save, I didn't even have living glass somewhere. So I'm going to have to go hunt down the, the parts for living glass or the plants for living glass. I ain't even got the freighter base uh, built yet. Like, I got a start on it, but I didn't uh, I didn't get very far away. I think I run out of oxygen while well, I'm thinking about that. Let's, uh, let's, let's uh, see if I can do something about that. 
Thank you, old explorer. Much appreciated, buddy. Let's get some hot DG squared. What's up, dude? This was got a cape. Oh no, <laughs> looks like a non non geek. Oh, <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, cool, cool, cool. All right, so, uh, and I don't like I said I don't know how adept to building you guys have gotten. I I played with this a little bit. Uh, I found it was easier to go outside of the base. To go outside the base and um and build with the with the um. I think, with those. I think I went with the dark gray. Pretty sure I did. Hope I did. Let's see if they match up. Yeah. I found it was a lot easier to go outside and do build, uh, build camera. Because that way you can see the tops of the uh, cultivators uh, rooms. So if you turn them 90 degrees, the plants will be turned 90 degrees. If you keep them straight like... If you, if you lay them in like this... Because you remember back in the day... Oh, I'm out of facium? Really? I'm not out of facium, am I? I am out of facium. Son of a gun. I remember because I started doing the uh, started doing the living glass at my at my base. Come on, rocket boots. Don't kill me. Alright, cool. Professor Cynical, how's it going, dude? Good to see you, man. Let's see. Quite to go hunt down some facium somewhere. Alright. Let's go do the Let's go see if somebody on Sinon has a base. Let's see thing here. Okay. Let's fly out to Sinon and see if somebody heard there's face him in Red Bull. Yeah, that's why I've heard the same. <laughs> uh, well, I have not seen his own when I was up. Oh. Way after I had to go to bed. Oh, got you, got you. Let's. I think I missed some chat here. Uh, you may change his walls. Hoping it helps you. Okay. Uh, got PS5 now. Rebuilding. Got a PS5. So now rebuilding on there with my Lemon Sky. Ooh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not face him, it's face him. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess I know his characters because my other. Oh, cool. Uh, everyone's just about here. Heck yeah, DG. Dude, I'm telling you, man, it's a much, much bigger crowd than I was expecting. I, I think y'all got me a little nervous. My goodness. Um,. Yeah, I was like, hey, maybe two or three people show up. No, I'll be I'll be right in my element. <laughs> All right, let's see if anybody's got anything named here. And if any of you guys got a uh, living glass farm on a living glass farm on Sinon on Permadeath, let me know. That Atlas Apple look nice and golden yellow. I know, right? It really would, dude. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, dude, I like the Atlas Staff, but I really wished it was a different color. <laughs> oh, thank you, Professor Man. We I miss y'all guys. I really did. I'm gonna tell you guys. I I was man. You need a good shuttle? Nah, man. I need a good shuttle to scrap, dude. Let's see. Looks like uh nine domes. Maybe less. Let's see. Do we got a landing pad here? No, but they are plants. Or are they grown? Doesn't look like they're grown. Maybe a visual cause. Alright, let's go upstairs and see. Let's see. There's face him in here. Cool. Let's go. Ah, oh, it needs power. That's why. Hey, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> dude i'm telling you man i it, it's been a while man i i kind of i was i was i was thinking i was going to slip into obscurity but uh like i said man you guys are awesome 
I mean, every live chat I've popped in, somebody's asked me, you know, when I was coming back or let me know they missed me. And I, you guys don't know, that means a lot. It really does. Uh, really? <laughs> Good on you, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so why is this thing... Oh, I got it. It's out of power. That's why. I had the same problem with the Londinium farm. Um, when I went to it, uh, it had disconnected my power somehow or not. Well, no, I don't even think I had power supply to that base. I think it was... Well, no, I'm pretty sure it was uh, back when we had to put power in. It's been a minute, guys. So many saves are old. Like, this permadeath save... This permadeath save is uh, was pretty, pretty bad as far as behind on things because I what I'd done is every time there was an update I'd always like start a new save. Uh, shuttle rock. Ah uh, no. No. No, I'll have to disagree with you on that one, bud. Sorry. I know I know there's some shuttle lovers in the in the chat. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you guys too hard a time. How do I get off the ladder? Okay. This is why I don't like ladders, guys. <laughs> there we go. I'm off the ladder. All right. And there's nothing in here. Ba -ba -ba. I need that gamma root, too. Man, brutal. All right. So let's go see if... Uh, can't use anything other than the Star Runner. Love it. Oh, nice. I... I upgrade, finally upgraded the Star Runner. I had them on all, um, maybe on custom Hot Rod Vector ship, painted it metallic red. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Let's uh, waste time scrapping a shuttle around that painting them. I, to be fair, man, I've been, I scrap a lot of shuttle. I've been scrapping a lot of ships in black market systems, dude. Like, I, there's been systems I've landed in that I've, I've bought three ships before I could get to the station to scrap them. Uh, Subnarket did ladders better. Yes. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Ain't missed no chats anywhere. Uh, color customization should have been implemented years ago. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I've, I've always had, I've always had like a, um, uh, contrarian view for, uh, uh, ship customization. And I mean, not, not to be like argumentative or, or, you know, um, like out of out of the way about it. I just I I always thought that it would affect the long term, uh, the long term uh, community gameplay if we had full customization. But then we got um, scrapping with singular I think it was singularity. I think it was the update was. Um, we got the scrapping, which allowed us to to upgrade uh, to S class a lot of the a lot of the ships and and you know. That that wasn't too too horrible, so man, I might have to go get this face him the old fashioned way. I think. Let's see, B -b -b solar vine. Okay, so we've got plant farms here. Let's see if we can find a face him farm. I don't know if anybody's got any uh any permadeath farms on uh the golden roll men either. There's fungal. Silver vine. All right, so we're going to pass on this. Let's go try. We'll go try the uh, ocean beaches. Let me ask you all this. Have you ever rode a shuttle before because you just want a rocket ship when you explode to pieces? It makes sense if you ask me. Dude, I, like I said, man, ever, like shuttles weren't horrible until the, um, I think it was Beyond, maybe? Might have been next when they changed the, the, the cockpit. Like the cockpit and the engine 
got bigger, the rest of the shuttle stayed the same size. And it just it, that that's when I that's when shuttle when I lost when they lost me with shuttles. What's up, Mary Lizzie? How's it going? Yeah, I it took me um I think about three weeks because it was like this week I decided to upgrade the uh that I decided to upgrade the um um Starborn Runner, but. Like I said, it, it wasn't it wasn't as impressive as my um, as my solar or my uh, interceptor. <laughs> nice. I want a cliff address. My permanent six biome system with a farm for all the stuff. If you got a um, if you got a portal address, if you want to drop it in Discord for me, uh, series. I'll, um, I'll go check it out. Let's see if I got some face him. Well, I don't even think I got face him at this point. This is all circuit boards, I believe. Yeah, man. It's been a minute since I built farms like this. Cool, cool, buddy. Ooh, the frost wart. I need that. Let's go grab frost wart real quick, real quick. I definitely need some frost wart. You can tell I was a lot braver back in the day with uh with permadeath because I built these bases really high on top of mountains, and now I just build them slightly off the ground. <laughs> Blacks Bloom, how's it going, buddy? Siege Ninja, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Heck yeah. Oh, Valheim stream. Yeah, I'm hoping when uh, Ashlands uh, kicks off, I got um, I got several guys that play uh, Valheim with me on uh, Discord, but uh, I'm the server. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Is that all the? Frost what I had? It is. That is total BS, man. Come on, Sean. Or come on, Sword. Pass Sword. Pass Sword, you suck, dude. Yep. Looks like it. ER Burrows, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Heck yeah, man. It was good hanging out yesterday, man. I had a, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> cool, cool. Phil Gore, what's up, dude? Welcome, welcome, man. All right, so let's see. I know Ash may. I don't know if Ash got a has a, a permadeath farm here. I know he had an awesome uh, normal mode farm. Like I said, it, it's it's weird um, on permadeath. What's that? Oh, it's a multi-tool. Uh, uh, if you want to shoot it DM or if, uh, you only see Starfield channels, really, uh, just drop it in. Drop it in the uh, the one of the Starfield channels. I grab it. Let's see, that is at the portal, so let's go ahead and drop down to portaling. <laughs> you lucky you got no ass guy stream from Sword OE. He's not streaming already. Oh, I know, dude. It's been a minute. I, to be fair, I, I was like. I started up. I started setting up for the stream like two hours ago, and I'm like, "I, dude, this is all new, like weird. I hadn't done it in a long time." <laughs> like I'm, I'm hoping Streamlabs doesn't update and like really have a screwed up settings. <laughs> all right, so let me go grab this uh, portal address. 
Now, uh, quick question for you, uh, seriously. Uh, do you mind if I share this on on stream, or would you prefer me not to? Hi, I'm streaming. Just let you know. You ready? No. You I just started like uh, half an hour. You can say hey to chat. No. They miss you. I've already had people asking. No, you don't. You look beautiful. Alright, guys. 07 for Mrs. Sword in the chat. No. You get it, God, no, no, they're already doing it. No. You gotta come say hey. Baby, I just you gotta come say hey now. <laughs> now welcome to my world guys it's like i'll eventually do it see my entire chat screen is lit up with mrs sword all right now y'all guys gotta say hashtag hurry up <laughs> Well, goodness. All right, so let me uh b -b -b roll back to seriously. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. She done a video on it. Cool, cool. I just make sure I didn't want to. Oh, there we are. She 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 does that to me a lot, guys. She about give me a freaking heart attack in here one night. Just pops in, taps me on the shoulder. So wait, hey, wave hi to chat. Chat. Hi, Mrs. Sword. How was your work day? I'm busy. Busy. What did you bring me for supper? Yeah. Okay. Hot roast. Hot roast. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. And sweet potato pie. I will be done in about two and a half, three hours. Okay. Please pull the door shut. Thank you. All right. Y'all feel lucky. That's about as much Mrs. Sword as I get every night. So. <laughs> uh, never tell a woman to hurry up. You can get hurt. I know, right, Shugu? Exactly. Yeah, well, she just got off work too, but she she she's a hostess, so you know she's going camera shot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, now nah, pot roast, man. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Cool, cool. All right, so let's get this uh, portal address up to where I can see it. All right, let's go. Thank you, seriously. Oh, seven, seriously, in the chat, guys, for coming in clutch on this. Uh, uh, Bardones on the hot planet. It's the plants you want? Cool, cool, man. All right, let's see. We got Diplo, Sun, Spider, Bird. All right, yeah. Diplo, Sun, Spider, Bird. All right, triangle. It's gone, shuttle, moon. Single. And we got fish, boat, moon, and let's see. Fish, boat, moon, and it's gone. Oh. Thank you, sir. All right, so let's close out that tab real quick and minimize that screen. Nice. Thank you, seriously. Much appreciated, buddy. Cool. Uh, don't want to put a base these guys made 200. Oh, nice, Daniel. Heck yeah, dude. What's more rare than sword streaming and Mrs. Sword sighting? I know, right, Tragus? Uh, thank you, Matthew. Oh, I, I definitely will not argue with that. I still ain't figured out what she sees. Um, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, great. Now I'm thinking about Sweet Potato Bread. Ah, oh, nice, dude. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Nice. Much, much appreciated, seriously. All right, so we're looking for the base on the hot planet. Let's go. Yeah, eventually I am going to build a, uh, I'm going to build a, uh, 
stasis device form on this save, but man, I the inventory management on permadeath after playing normal for like 90 hours is like really rough. There we be. I get to do my get to do my unboxing. <laughs> now I got me a new set of um uh Sony uh earbuds. I don't know what they're called. It's the MX something. The fifth the uh, fifth variant. Oh man. Heck yeah, come in clutch with a gamma. Nice. Cool. Ah. Let's see, I got tons of uh, selenium still in the freighter. Let's see, uh, I did get all my gam or all my, I did get all of my star bramble down. So I need the facium. Nice, nice. I'll take it. Never, never hurts to have some more dot as well. Let's see. I got plenty of cactus flesh in the storage. Ba, 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 ba. Very nice, dude. Very, very, very nice. And what do we got for resource? We got sulfurine. Okay. I'll hold off on sulfurine because uh, storage is a premium on this save. <clears throat> yeah, man. Careful on those slots. <laughs> nice. I know, right? I still got a I still got plenty of uh a storage slots, but let's see where did my Okay, where did it Alright went, put it in the uh, ship. Nice. Very nice. Alright, now Yes, yes indeed, sir. You are a scholar and a gentleman. Teleporter on the at the ready. I'm still paranoid using teleporters with this thing. I actually zeroed out a permadeath character with a teleporter. <laughs> I was finishing the stream up. I think we was raiding Mary Lizzie one night. And I was over on my other monitor pulling up the link for her, her stream while it was teleporting my character. And it teleported me through the floor of my base. And my base was on a mountain side. And I fell to my death. <laughs> Like I turned, I turned back to my main screen to, to catch the black screen. I'm like, what? <laughs> Heck yeah, Matthew, that's awesome sauce, dude. All right, now let's get right here. Let's see. I think I stopped at Facium. I may have finished out to Facium. I don't know. Okay, I got the frost planted. I was needing gamma. Those are done. All my circuit, all the circuit boards are done. I just need the living glass because I honestly hadn't done any living glass on this character. It was weird. It, like I when I when I logged in, I'm like, well, okay, I got a couple farms, and no, nothing. I'm like, what? How in the world? What a noob. Okay, those are good to go. So let's see we want to build let's put the gamma down hopefully I got enough uh hopefully I got enough uh uranium to finish out the gamma route so let's see let's see count along with me guys we need eight of them in each dome all right first one done Oh, there was my frost work. And I'm out. Oh, no, it's in my... What? I got the... That is so weird. Do I not... Go... 
What's the range of the teleporter receiver? That's so bad. Like, I got the teleporter receiver installed, but it won't teleport from one side of my base to the other. I need to build smaller bases, guys. Uh, actually, use the little calls actually helps with stats upgrades. And I. <laughs> They're ship family. Well, I, to be fair, man, if you fly a shuttle up to the Nexus, man, you get all kinds of resources for people taking pity on you. It's like flying a Radiant Pillar. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> fall through a pinhole every time. I know, dude. That's some scary stuff, man. Yeah, all right. Dude, for the longest time, I I did not like building with build camera on uh on these farms. And I think I put nine down. I did. Okay, now we gotta zip through here and steal this uh gamma root. I know I got enough dock site. Okay. Let's see. Freighter. Here we are. Can I go into inventory? I am out of dock site. Really? Alright, let's go hunting. Uh, I have a sub looking shuttle named SS Botany Bay. Nice. Freighter, super teleporter across the galaxy. Starship receiver. I can't give you. I know, right? It's crazy dude all right so let's let's get the gamma down since we got all that stuff handy and we'll, we'll mess with uh we'll go back and grab some uh we'll go exploring and grab some uh docks I... inside vortex dude welcome to it good to see you too buddy heck yeah guys I'm telling you, man, it's good to be back. I, I've, I've been wanting to start streaming again for probably a month. But I, every time I do, I'm like... I, I, It's one of the things that when you stop doing it, you can find a hundred excuses why you, why you can't do it. And once you start doing it, you do it all the time. So it, it really is a... It's, it's one or the other with me. It's, it's really hard to... Like... It's hard to dial it back, but it's also once you once you've stopped, it's hard to get going again. Awesome sauce, dude! Thank you, guys. Head back to that star system source. You have farm all that stuff. Oh, really? Okay, cool, cool, man. Nice. I think uh, it should be in my previous base system. If not, I'll hit the. Well, this is Eisenham, so, but it should be in previous. In my previous uh, in a teleporter. But yeah, for the longest time, I didn't like I didn't I didn't like doing like building with the build camera. I always just actually went inside the dome and done on each individual one. And I've and I've gotten out of the habit of uh I've gotten in the habit of actually like putting if I'm making circuit boards or or living glass, um make one dome be one unit. Uh, as opposed to like trying to fill it with all frost wart or all uh facium and whatnot. It's easier to keep on <laughs> I'm so cannot keep up with the dirt so Dude, I'm telling you, man. I I was uh I was, well, like I said, man, I, w I was sitting here one night, just like, everybody was in the bed, things was, like, quiet in the house, and, uh, and I was just sitting here playing video games, and my heart would start, like, start racing, and, like, it, it was a, it was a really unsettling feeling, and when that, when that started happening, I'm like, yeah, I gotta make some lifestyle changes for, uh, before I get, before I kill over one night. Because it'll be the next morning before most people will catch it. So, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool, cool. Ogden Games, how's it going, buddy? 
Uh, what makes Steam Deck? Stream Lord, what's up, funny imps? How's it going, Ryan? Oh, Ryan, how's it going, buddy? Uh, I'm new here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to it, buddy. Good to see you. Uh, played this on Switch for quite a while. I had have a Steam Deck, way better, and I can have the true name. Oh, nice, dude. Awesome sauce. Good to hear, man. Hope you enjoying. Uh, stream a lot of things. How can we miss you if you go away? Things, but it's good to see you. Awesome sauce, dude. Heck yeah, man. Let's see. Uh, uh, everyone comes source, but thank you, Yar. Heck yeah, guys. I had to break out my cell phone and had the chat up on it so I could scroll back without tabbing out. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna be rusty. So, and honestly, guys, if I missed any of your comments, I truly apologize because, like I said, I am so rusty at this. It's gonna take me a while to. Uh, I had the racy racing heart thingy as well. I'd be on beta block. Oh god, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm avoiding. Um, yeah, as soon as there's drinks, we'll do that. Especially if you've had something or something close to the old dude. Yeah, like I said, man, I, I, it, it, it was uh, it was getting to this point of uh, uh, being concerned or getting concerning. And like I said, I'm getting up in that age where things like that can happen. So Let's see, four, six, eight, there we go. Eight, cool. And y'all guys don't pick on me with counting silently. If I don't, I'll mess up. <laughs> well, that and, and deleting them is a pain in the butt because you got to go in the dome to do it. <laughs> So, y'all heard what I've been up to for the last eight or nine months. What have you guys been up to? Any any new games on the hero on the horizon or anything uh, new and interesting in your lives? All right, so that's all the uh, gamma. Let's see. I got a ton of facium now. I can go work on the uh, freighter farm and let this stuff grow in. Come back tomorrow and uh, finish harvesting. Uh, the rest of it what's up throttle jockey welcome welcome dude custom ship man my, I I kind of agree Matthew I mean and it's not because I don't like that it's not because I'm against like cut ship customization I was and I still kind of am I think it's going to have a I think it'll have a longer term negative impact with the uh, with the no man's sky uh, community as a whole as far as like uh, concurrent gameplay or concurrent game uh, activity because I think I think it'll kind of it'll kind of put off uh, it'll have a negative effect on the ship hunting and I think uh, the ship hunters were one of the one of the larger why don't we say larger but a mainstay for like um, uh, ongoing uh, game uh, concurrent playing so I think it'll have a negative effect, but I think it'll I think it'll take a few months for that to start us to start seeing the results of that. Um, and like I said, what 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 concerns me more the most about it is I've seen other games that were really hot come out and then fizzle out, and then the concurrent players in those games is like next to none, and the developers just say, well, there's only this many thousand people playing it concurrently. You know, it's not as hot unless we do something really big, which means longer to update, or we move our efforts to a newer game. And a lot of developers will will just say, "Hey, I'm gonna move to the new best next new thing," because releases will draw more than updates. You know what I'm saying? As far as like actually, like you you make more money off of selling a new game than you do doing a free update, hoping more people buy the game. So that that's my concern. Uh, I think everyone's waiting on Lightning Fire. Dude, definitely. Definitely. I seen that trailer. I'm like, yep, that one's in the wish list. 
got an Elden Ring last month, pretty much. Has taken over all the games all my dude. Oh, you out of here, Beebs? Sorry, dude. I yeah, missed you. All right, going to take it out. Some editing. Beebs, dude, thank you for hanging out, dude. Thank you for your donation, man. Much appreciated and good to see you, dude. Have a great night, dude. Sorry I missed your comment. Uh, uh, did you get rid of a monitor sword? Nah, I got, um, I got, still got three. It's just, uh, I got restream up on this side. And I can only see like the last 10 or 12 comments. So what's going on, HV? How's it going, buddy? Long time no see, dude. Um, but it's easier for me to, to scroll back uh, the stuff that's already scrolled up on the restream chat window with my phone instead of uh, instead of tabbing out and scrolling up. I uh, found myself at work. Oh, my goodness, Josh. Jeez Louise, man. Playing Planet Crafter. Yeah, I've seen your uh, Planet Crafter stuff, man. That man, I'm telling you, I've been I've been keen on trying Planet Crafter, but it's like it seems like something kind of like satisfactory. If once you get started on it, you get sucked into it for hours and hours, and it kind of kills out, kind of uh, suffocates other games. Uh, whole community thing around the video games sounds silly to me until all the content creators had an in-game stream more yes oh i agree dude and like i said man it's, it's a there's a lot of people that play this play this game on the daily let's see if i got a previous base plant crafter and enshrouded yeah i haven't tried enshrouded i've seen a lot of people uh a lot of people doing enshrouded all right, so let's go back to that base, and then we'll head to the Frost Planet. They, they, they did one for a guy who passed away recently on Helldivers 2. Really? Oh, my. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of communities out there that are just like... Uh, I know um, there was a fella that passed away in the Star Citizen community, and they had a big in-game uh, event to honor, honor him and his passing. So, yeah... Like I said, man, it's cool. It's cool when communities get together and do that stuff. Sorry, I had to tab out, guys. All right, let's see where it is. Shit, there we go. Yeah, I, I blame Zane for this mess right here, guys. Nope, oh, not that. This mess. This is all 100% Zane's world's fault, guys. Like, literally, years ago, when they introduced the suspicious mods into the game i tried rolling that tech and wrote it off as a bad idea <laughs> so i don't care how much better it can be it's not worth the hassle it really isn't i will stick with rolling my s-class mods and i'll be happy no <laughs> i have uh i have been rolling like a madman with these saves <laughs> it's all Zane's fault. He said something when the when he was doing looking for that custom explorer that he was going to be uh, up, or no his uh his a uh, starborn runner. He said he was going to roll some tech, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And I caught myself about eleven o'clock one night in here rolling tech. But yeah, it it's insane. But like I said, I'm getting eighty k DPS on my on this little uh. Interceptor. X class is so good, I know, dude. I was saying this guy got me in the whole community thing for certain games. Dude, Funny Imps, uh, uh, fun fact, Funny Imps was the actually the first person I ever spoke to in multiplayer in No Man's Sky. No man, I'm talking that was like well way back time <laughs> keep rolling 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 dude i'm telling you man i had so many c classes that lost their lives to get these S x class mods <laughs> so let me prove i basically guaranteed to roll something really good i don't know man i don't know uh hyperdrive darth is was pretty rough like um i would go 
anywhere from 30 to 60. Because I, I basically when I started doing it, I said I'm gonna go with either a 319 or a 320 with the with the 100% um, efficiency. Uh, that's that was my line. I'm, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it as high as I can get it. Now, granted, you see a lot of 300s or 296, 297s in the mix, but getting anything uh, 318, 19, and 20 is fairly rare. I'm talking. Uh, I think the best I've seen has been 30 rolls and the worst I've seen has been like 60 rolls. So yeah. And two, it depends on your save too. Uh, you get more DPS if you swap the infra knife into a supercharged slot. Let's see, 80k. We got. Dang, you were right. Very nice. Thanks for the heads up there, uh, Pete. Oh my goodness. I got mixed feelings about that. <laughs> let's see, let's put that down there. Let's move this. Let's move this up here. And we'll put the main right there. There. Holy smokes. I did not see that. Good good on you, man. Uh if your threshold for the X class is the top of the range, it takes forever. You just want better than the S. It's often Yeah, true. True, true. Uh, it's much better now. 50 rolls. You should easily find at least one, two, eight. Yeah, I mean, definitely better than S class. You'll find fairly often. I agree to that. Uh, you have a DPS. Cool, cool. You crazy, crazy things. How long ago it was? I know, dude. My goodness. Man, that's been like six or so years ago. Holy smokes, dude. Uh, da -da -da -da. X class for has protection. I hit 10. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I don't know if I got all 10s on this one or not. Yeah, I think I, I got two of them that's got one of them at 9%. But yeah, dude. That, those, um, those I would just do passively. I wouldn't roll the tech. I would just do them passively um, as I was exploring uh, black market systems. That's how I end up with all those tech modules. Aquila, how's it going? Happy to see you after so much time. How you how you going? Oh, doing great, man. Bruce was. Man, have a great night, buddy. Good to see you, and thanks for coming by the stream. Uh, but replace the worst possible rolls with epic ones, kind of. Nice. Very nice. All right, so let's go see where that frozen planet is for the dock site. Let's see what well, we got frozen. Lush planet. fungal okay let's see where is the frozen planet at it's a moon around the ring planet or it'd be behind the ring planet let's go yeah to be fair it was the hazard protection uh ognum that got me um that got me back into interested into even looking at the uh that even got me looking at upgrading the X class um, or the suspicious mods because I popped one of those uh, uh, all tens on uh, on one of my saves uh, first. Well, it's been a few weeks ago, but I was like, man, that's a pretty good roll, but it's probably odd or rare. So I just started hanging on to my suspicious um, my suspicious uh, hatch protections, and I'll just pop a couple of them at a station when I pick as I picked them up and it didn't take very very long before I had uh three really good ones and I was like well I want to do this on all my saves and then that's when uh that's when Zane come around and said oh yeah I'm going to do all suspicious modules and I'm like dang you Zane I can't let him have a better ship than me <laughs> which he will I, I to be fair I I kind of I kind of got away from the Got away. I like the explorers, but I've got away from the explorers. Okay, this may be. I mean, look, see whose base this was. I just seen base and decided to come here. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, it sounds good, Ryan. Heck yeah, man. 
have a ha have a great dinner, bud, or enjoy your enjoy your afternoon, man. Let's see where we go here. Through the back. There we go. All right, that's right on. I don't really need a lot of that. Let's do the dock site. That'll work. Let's see. Can I put that in the straight to the freighter? Nice, sweet. Heck yeah, that'll do. Let's go to the space station and uh, go from there. <laughs> But yeah, basically I started hitting um, KJ PC Gaming told me months ago, and I didn't know this until she'd said something about it, but she had told me that you could buy the tech mods for for units at the black market systems, open them all up, and turn around and sell them to the vendor right next to him. And, you know, passively as you're exploring uh, black market systems, make a ton of nanites. Like, you turn... you pretty good in pretty steady income of nanites that's a unique station i hadn't seen one that 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 big or that shape before it's cool yep <laughs> nice oh uh, 10 20 rolls for x better than s that thing stick with s rated stuff i'm telling you man it's it's worth it if you no worry sassy lurk away dear thank you for hanging out and it's definitely good seeing you. Good hanging out with you yesterday as well. Uh, bu -bu, good system have your space station list. If you have you did permanent save. Nice. Very nice. All right, so let's go. Let's go check the mission guy real quick. See if there's any missions I can take. The passive stuff. Because that's a thing now. Nope. All right, let's go see what the multi-tool is. Speaking of... Economy and balance, so it's a medium economy. Oh, cool multi tool. We got C class, dude. I cannot wait. I think it's gonna be six weeks from now, five or six weeks from now, because he's got a backlog of videos. But Junt and Lava Lamps has been doing a, a multi tool race. If you guys uh, haven't haven't subscribed to Junt or haven't seen those multi two races. Uh, if one of my mods can drop one of drop drop Junt's link in the chat, you guys definitely definitely are missing out on on them guys. They are a hoot to watch and listen to. As they're uh, hunting for multi tools and stuff. But yeah, so you can't trade that back. Cool. Uh, but I found a uh, I found a multi tool. Uh, found a multi tool. Yeah, a couple days, three or four days ago, and I sent it to Junt. And uh, all right, funny imps, no worries, bud. This guy is sword. Uh, does sword have really cool star citizen bids? Uh, well, uh, streams. I don't, I don't do, I don't do any. Uh, I really don't do any video stuff. Um, I am far too busy in real life and lazy to, more lazy than busy in real life, but. Very, very opposed to editing. <laughs> oh, who we got? C class. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I've been to this channel before. Nice. Heck yeah, buddy. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Slip four. That's going to show me. Let's see. Other bases. All right. So there's CRT Radeon. Paraffinium, I don't need that. Cobalt, nitrogen, uranium. Let's go. Well, let's see, I got uranium. Tons of that. Let's see. Next. Spring and it's cactus. Okay. All right, cool. They're good. I'm like the 69th light. Just saying, nice, dude. Well, you know, Elon would like that one. 
Heck yeah, man. Thank you for hitting the like button, guys. Much, much appreciated, guys. Much appreciated. All right, so that's good to go. Let's uh, let's head back to the base. Thank you, Tragus. It's Tragos, but I've, I've been calling him Tragus for so long in Discord that it just comes out that way now. <laughs> but... But yeah, man, uh, I sent I sent him and Lava Lamps a multi tool to go hunt um, a few days ago or about a week ago, and he uh, he sent me the link to the video, so I watched it. And think he's like four or five weeks behind on videos at the moment. So he uh, he sent me the video, and it wasn't until the end of the video till they realized the name of the multi tool. And I'm going to let you guys, you guys got to wait in suspense to know what the name of it is. I'm saying you, you want to watch. I think it's, uh, let me see, which one is it? The 67th multi-tool. So it's, it's 67. I think they just uh, did 60 or 61 on stream. Or I mean, in, uh, uploaded the 60 or 61, 61st one. What's up, Mike Stockton? How's it going, buddy? Oh, nice, Hopper. Sounds good, man. I've not seen you stream for a long time. Then again, it's been a long time since so I can sit down and watch stream. Nice, dude. Well, it's it's both and both. Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't been around for a, a, a while. This is the first one in, I think, nine months. Do we have to find a share button? Nice, dude. Um, but yeah, not until the uh, not until the end of the video when he's taking the screenshot to to show where to come find it and everything um or for the thumbnail for the video did it did they realize the name of the multi-tool and these two guys man they lost it <laughs> i mean i was watching the video with my earbuds in on my phone one day and i'm just in here laughing just about to pee myself laughing at them cracking up about the name of that multi-tool and uh <laughs> so whenever that drops guys you definitely definitely need to be uh be checking that channel out all right let's see i need to go to camera mode there we go camera mode engaged now where is that missing frost wart there it is there we are boom all right so this uh i think this strut is done Pretty sure. No. Yep. Nope. It's a different. Okay, that's a different strut. Okay, cool. So this strut is done. There's nothing worse than waiting 16 hours to come test your output, and you've missed a placement. It's even worse when you do a, a much much larger base with double decker <laughs> biodomes. Lurk away, Janet. Oh, I use Atlas staff. I don't fight with guns. I use my OP Minotaur to run, 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 ruin anything that moves. I'm telling you, man, I I haven't even upgraded the Atlas Staff. Like, I've upgraded it to an S-Class, but I haven't done anything as far as, like, upgrades yet. Um, the this, But then, again, it's this save. I haven't, uh, uh, see, this is the, the meanie. This one, this one is mean, mean. It will, uh. It would definitely throw some damage. This is another uh, lava lamps and a junt. I think it's lava lamps or no, it might have been junt. Can't remember. They posted this up in the Discord uh, right after the um, they introduced the uh, auto face settlements. Backseas with food. Ooh, do tell what food we got. But I have um, there it is, the paralysis mortar. I didn't really think it was useful for the longest time. And I think the Atlas staff on one of my other saves had it. And I hit it by accident and realized what it did. I'm like, holy crap. I'll have this on everything from now on. <laughs> Just ordered my steak and eggs, an oatmeal egg, white blueberry apple, yum, boo. Man, that sounds good, dude. Heck yeah, Ryan. Definitely enjoy. Uh... Husby had to take me to ER in February for diabetic keto. Oh no, man, that sucks, Mary. Uh, keto ketosis, but yeah, definitely not good. 
Stay on top of that blood sugar, Mary. It's it's a. Uh, I know it sucks, but it. I'm telling you, it don't. It's some. That's some tricky business. MTG, how's it going, buddy? What's going on, friend? Good to see you, man. All right. Let's see. Is that plant of frost? I did not. Let's go. Oh, nice. Sorry, got the uh, gamma in here. Sweet. Now they did change up. And I know you guys, y'all guys playing along at home, are uh, are saying, "Sword, you don't need five frost wart for living glass anymore." And to be fair, I didn't know this until like a week ago that they changed the uh, recipe for glass to forty. I think, and I don't remember when they done it. They done it a long time ago because I know my base has always overproduced the uh, overproduced frost wart, but. I didn't mind because I used so much glass in all my builds that it kind of was an added benefit. But, but yeah, dude, uh, they changed it to 40 for glass, so you only need, uh, we still need part of that fifth one. Uh, let's look up some light node fire news. Nice, dude. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's see, cool. Heck yeah, man. Was that bet it? Oh, no. Huh, that's weird, Mary. I've been playing other games for a long time. I've been going for the community. Well, welcome back, dude. Remember hearing about Golden Gate? Yeah, man. The legend. <laughs> Let's see, what did I end up doing? Hang on one second, guys. Let me go yell at a kid. I bet. Oi. Let's see, do I get... I was out of gamma root. Okay. Uh, so we've been gestational rabbit. We know I was at risk, but happened over now. Oh, no. That is crazy, Mary. I hope you, I hope you're feeling better. And if you're not, I hope you get to feeling better much, much sooner. All right, that's done with the frost wart. Now we got to do, uh, so we do the frost wart on this one, and then we'll probably go up to the, uh, ah, no, five, three. Um, cool. Uh, we'll go up to the, uh, freighter and finish out. I think now that I got the facium, I can, I can finish it out, which I don't even think I put facium down here. I didn't. Okay. Let's finish that out. Yeah, there's a there's an order to my madness on how I put these plants in from from the di from the door <laughs> so I can uh I can keep up with what I've planted, what I haven't planted. Which to be fair, I planted a uh, a hundred and a hundred and four domes on one of my normal mode saves, and I was off by one cracking star bramble. No, or J Spot J, how's it going, buddy? Or J Spot 51, I'm gonna call you J Spot J. Uh, gotta do work things. Ah, oh, it sucks, man. You fix that jetpack, thrust so do I know. <laughs> I relearned everything. A lot has changed 22 years. Also, it happened the week of my youngest. Oh no, uh, apology. Suddenly cut to an ad. Oh yeah, mid rolls. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Which, to be fair, you shouldn't be getting that as a. Yeah, it shouldn't. I don't know. I, yeah, there was a. I set it for like, I think. Thirty minutes was as far as I could push them out, 
but it, it like I said, it give me the it it put that it, it give me that option where I had I could uh, roll it out to thirty minutes at a time or let YouTube do it. Uh, YouTube ought to do it automatically, and I don't trust YouTube not to like run everybody off with them. See, yeah, it's it's weird, but I don't think it shouldn't. They shouldn't uh, hit ads for channel members. That's uh, that's kind of weird. Weird BS stuff. Doggone screw tube. Five. Yeah. All right. I'm back. Yeah, I think I got enough face him to finish out that floor on the uh on the freighter. That'll give me uh I think this one makes twenty six of each circuit board and living glass and I'm gonna plant I'm gonna have a uh, 12 of each on the uh, freighter you can do 24 but it it tends to uh it tends to want to chew up on some of your frame rate uh, when you get when you put two levels of a uh, farm in on a freighter which is better than uh, the old ps4 days when it used to blue screen you poo too <laughs> what's up Delta one how's it going buddy Man, yeah, dude. Good to be back. Good to see you, bud. How you been? Cool. Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, trust me, Mary. I agree with you 100%. I blame all... I blame both my kids for all this gray in my beard. I always say Mrs. Sword done the mustache. The kids got the rest of the face. <laughs> nice, dude. Good, good, Delta. Cool. All right, so that is... I'm waiting on Gamroot. That's for our turnaround for that. And I'll have enough to finish the farm out, I think, from this harvest. Maybe. If not, I'll go back and hit Sirius' uh, uh, farm again. Could be close. I don't know if I have enough. Could be close. But yeah, the, the solar vine and the uh, cactus ain't even popped on this one, so it's been it's been more than four hours. But it was it was earlier today I done done this one. All right, so let's go take a look at this uh, this setup, guys. So I have some... let's go pop in and check out the base. This was a fun build. I, I kind of enjoyed this one. I enjoyed my my um, other. Um, normal mode base a lot my normal mode base uh i think it was on my main save it was eisentan base um it literally you know it was my third save it literally was the first time i'd ever hit the uh base computer piece limit it was very very interesting i had i was over by i think i was over by almost 300 pieces before to for, that I couldn't upload and I went through and done trimming all over that base to get it uh get it under the I think it was 3000 pieces something like that Your outfit is a bit bad guy from Ant-Man. Yeah, man. Dude, like this is the only this is the only uh traveler I got left. My normal mode saves I went auto phase. What's up, Jump? We were talking trash about you earlier, bud. Man, we talked so much smack, didn't I, chat? Like, Jump should have got up earlier to catch the stream to hear all the BS I talked about him. <laughs> also, Greg and the Beard Sword, I've earned every one of those via parenting. Dude, I'm telling you, man. That's why, that's why you got to respect your elders, man. It's, it's tough being old. <laughs> Oh, there is a surprise. <laughs> no, I was uh, I was telling the chat they need to go check out your follow your channel, and uh, I think in like six or seven weeks when that multi tool comes out, there's a there's a very surprise ending that was a uh, priceless man. Like I literally, man, I was I was in here um, 
Oh, cool. What's that? Oh, nice. Um, I was in here uh, in the studio that morning watching the video. Junk got up because he's got a mortgage and bills to pay. I hear you, dude. Because zero's burning. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Enjoy dinner, dude. Good seeing you, man. Thank you for hanging out. Um, now, I, I was in here in the studio because I've been on vacation all week. So I've just been puttering around playing No Man's Sky all week. So I was in here in the studio uh, this week after you sent that video to me. And I was watching it. And the wife come in here to talk to me. And I'm in here and just, I'm a mess. I'm just cackling, laughing at your video, dude. <laughs> it was priceless, man. <laughs> Alright, so the okay, here we go. So I I started building with the uh wooden I didn't really like the wood panels. I really don't. I much prefer the old metal panels, but the glass on the wood structure, all the glass blueprints for the for the wooden panels had the nicest glass, right? Like the the stone sucks the metal the metal has like raised seams around the glass that your character bebops as he walks over it so i couldn't do that so i went with the uh instead of doing the met the old uh, legacy metal glass floors or roof panels or whatever you want to call it i went just went ahead with wood because of these uh these really clean uh wooden glass panels but yeah, dude, I, I I like I like this build. I ain't a big fan of it being wood because it looks like a cabin. But to each his own. Some people may like it, but but yeah, I went with uh, I went with these just because of the wind windows. Cool, cool. All right, so let's go look at my my power supply. I put a lot of a lot of effort into parts that nobody's going to see. That that's that's a typical. Uh, sword build right there i'll throw i'll throw a lot of effort making sure everything lines up and looks pretty Ooh, easy now Ooh, double whammy um put a lot of effort into stuff that nobody's ever going to look at <laughs> but this is my this is my power station i made it look like a uh, a power cell Like the last panels of wood, they're understated. Yes. But even like my my foundations for all my light poles, <laughs> so I put a lot of effort into those as well. I was sitting here the other night do, building this thing, and I'm like, you know, they might be like three people see this foundation ever <laughs> before this base is obsolete. <laughs> And then instead of having instead of having the typical floating uh, bow flake, Vat Killers, how's it going, dude? Good to see you, man. Instead of having the typical just a uh, floating bow dome or floating bow flake like I usually build, I decided to do, to go through and put foundations underneath all of them. And I did this with a few of my community builds uh, on Londinio or not Londinium on a uh, on a Sinon as well. But I have my oxygen intake and storage inside, and then I got all my storage containers uh, phased in. That was interesting. There was a few of these that just did not want to turn facing out. I did put a couple. Uh, I put a couple cuboid rooms in to to even it out because you got 10, 10 uh, storage containers and 12, 12 spaces to fill. All right, and I don't know if I did anything. I don't think I did anything fancy with the uh, with the O2, but I put all my I put three of my Exocraft uh, summoning stations out here as well. Thank you, Josh. How you doing, Vac Killers? Long time no see, dude. Hmm. 
Nah, not too much. Actually, did mean to put another pipe in right there, though. Oh, I think I run out of connectors, so I didn't. Cool. But yeah, that's the that's the base so far. I almost forgotten the classic sort of city building side. Yes. Oh yeah. OCD overdrive, buddy. Can I make it? Can I make it? I can make it. Nice. All right, rolling on. Let's go back to the radar. We'll start working on that tonight. Cool. help from a PS4 players for please but as long as I stream from it I've forgotten how to hook up my headphones can connect the controller it's a scuff hmm uh do you got Bluetooth headphones I think like what I do Mary is just plug my dongle into the PlayStation but like I said it depends on what kind of headphones you got if it's the plug-in kind I think it's the controller Let's see, that was five of them. Cool. Basically, we're building a 90 um, double cultivation chambers on this floor. And that will uh, give us enough, uh, enough plants to, uh, or enough placements to do uh, 12 living glass and 12 circuit board. I am out of silver. Jeez. I'm telling you, man. See that you see I got too much of something or never enough. Perma this rough, guys. Now you're a cable from the headphones to the PS4. I don't know. Uh, I can't get upstairs to the PC. I'm still working on cleaning up the youngest room for my new oh, okay, cool, cool. Uh, man, it's been so long since I did anything on uh, PS4, Mary. I would be remiss to tell you. I don't know. All right, so we need to go find silver. It's going to be interesting. Okay. Cool. Let's see. How much? Uh, oh, I got a ton of uh, frost crystal left. Nice. This is a, one of my favorite things that uh, my buddy Hyper mentioned to me. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in a storage. There we go. My buddy Hyper was uh, doing uh, doing some uh, circuit or stasis devices and as I was walking him through how to, to do the crafting of the stasis devices in Discord, he was like, well, I'm going to set up a macro to do this with. And I'm like, well, you don't need a macro. It's, it's a lot of clicking, but it's not too bad. And he and I didn't think nothing about it. Watched him do it. I'm like, cool. And then, like, the next day, I said, you know, I got a Logitech keyboard that has the software to do the macro. Maybe I want to set up a macro, too. And my God, you talk about... I, I'm sorry, console players, I have to hit a button on a controller. But PC players, if you got the option to do a, a macro, 
They're not very hard to set up. All you got to do is make a double pre uh, make a a, a, a a multiple press of the D key to increase inventory and set it for repeat as long as you're holding it. Oh my goodness, the the ease of crafting <laughs> is so much better, <laughs> like so much better. All right, so like here we put it on glass. It just hold the button down. It's, oh man, mate, this this made stasis devices so much fun. see all right so that makes 200 let's do 100 of them use up half my frost crystal cool. now i come into the glass for these rooms Silver, some again. Silver is the bane of my existence. Oh, I know, dude. Well, I know Zayna was talking about setting up a macro for the building and and stuff. And for um, uh, who was it? The the Kronos. No more trying to basically time it all, dude. I'm telling you, man. Well, that's honestly, that's why I give up on the glitch building. Alright, so let's see. We need to go... Let's try high economies. Other than uh, checking out a couple bases, I haven't uh, done a warp in a while. I mean, uh, maybe be able to kill, find something to kill. Oh, that's... Yeah. Hmm. Nope. Alright, so let's go to a trade outpost and see what they have first. Don't know if they'll have silver. We'll check. Then we'll go check the space station and hit up a couple of the uh, uh, vendors. Honestly, with this save, I need to just take the time and do uh, do a few bases. Oh, here we go. Starting off the uh, Voice of Freedom. So I haven't done, I don't even know if I've done Dreams of the Deep on this save yet. I got a few. I got a few like the auto phase, and I gotta find a. I gotta set up a settlement. So yeah, I got. I got quite a bit of work on this save. Silver here, we do nice 165. Not a lot, but hey, it'll do. Let's see, does aronium refine? You know what? Let's do 10 real quick and find out. I think it does, but I can't remember. There it is. Can't remember. Yeah, it does silver. Nice. All right, so let's uh. Let's go ahead and buy the rest of it. Let's go to uh, freighter inventory. Nice. All right, that's silver problem solved. Just a little bit of a uh, refining. It's the way you bar. <laughs> uh, Mister Multi Hunting says, "Moan about me doing awakenings." That's uh, how far behind we are. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> uh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice.
Hey, y'all guys like this interceptor, man. I found this on the Reddit um, last week, I believe. I ended up getting it. I ended up getting it on all my saves. It's like, yeah, it's such it's such a fun little ship that it's it's kind of worth getting it across all saves. Why well, can't just be done in four hours catching up some pre-white point weight longer? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, man, my main, like, my original PC save, that 300-hour save, I literally had not played that save uh, since uh, the settlements, like, Frontiers update. Like, I, that, that save was so far behind. Like, I think three out of the four of them, I still had all the technology that where I used to have uh, tech in uh, storage in tech that got moved to the storage, like got uh, uh, unassembled or, or stored into my storage uh, from when that update, I think it was, what was that? God, how long ago was that? Waypoint? Something like that? Yeah, that was that was some brutal stuff right there, guys. Let's see, let's grab it. Magnetized, I'll need that. Let's see, Lemia makes gold. Ba -ba -ba. I got tons of chromatic from all that rolling I did. Got a white interceptor just like it, and I absolutely love it, dude. I'm telling you, the uh, Reddit had had this one in the in the in the um, in the search for it, and basically, um, you, it's an A class location. Like there's there's few combos around for different locations, but this one was originally an A class. But when you upgraded it, it give you that L L shaped supercharge, and I think put one of them over here somewhere. But yeah, and I was like, well, that'd be that'd be worth to throw the infra knife in. I still have a few saves like that, dude. I'm telling you, man. I I, I got through with the expedi I wanted to do the expedition on all my saves just so I could uh, basically so I could get the um, cause you could get the the Starborn Runner, and then you could take the uh, um, Photonics Core out of your Starborn Runner and put on another ship so you basically you'd have two photonics cores depending on where you want you know use them where you want to so i did that because i didn't have the uh, legacy uh or the pre um the pre um release edition to where i had the photonics core blueprint so i was like well, it was a good opportunity for me to get photonics core for some uh, like daily driver ships or the stuff i wanted I, like a lot of uh like a lot of um, um, pull speed and maneuverability out of. So, oh, let me check him real quick. Make sure he ain't got no passive missions for me to do. But yeah, through the process of doing, uh, there we go. Cool. Through the process of doing uh, all the, um, all them uh, expeditions, I decided to go through and like update all my saves. Last well, achievement. Talking of behind, I went through the Unity and also married and and Trajan Starfield. <laughs> nice shunt. Heck yeah, dude. Dude, I'm telling you what, man. I I had a I went I done a playthrough um because it no just, it's been out a while, so hopefully it's no spoilers. But basically every time you uh, go through the Unity, it resets the, the universe or whatnot, and you start over, you can do it do it again differently. So I decided I was going to do the relationship with Andrasia for one of my playthroughs. And I accidentally shot a good guy on, I can't remember what it was. I went to like the outpost. I thought they were, it was all bad guys. And I shot a good guy. She went off, dude. I mean, like rage pissed at me, yelling at me about killing that dude. And I'm like, dude, this is really scary. It sounded like Mrs. Sword screaming at me. Like, got me going. I'm like, man, do I really want to? I think I'm going to go back and talk to Sarah. <laughs> but yeah, man, it was a, it was some spooky stuff, man. Got all 19 snow globes. Nice. Yeah, I, I think every time I do a new, oh, I've done, uh, I've got two characters in Starfield. Like I played through it with played through it and then done like went through the i think i think it was on like 16 
because I think I was three or four into it before I realized you could go through and get all of them every time. But slow bar, yeah, true. Um, but it, I, I, it was like I was in like second or third playthrough before I realized you could actually go back and get all the the, the powers. So I started getting all the powers. Well, then my OCD made me play it through 16 times so I could get level 10 on all of the powers. But yeah, even on my second character, my first playthrough didn't give me all of them. Which I think there's one that you have to do with Barrett, and I never went through that part of the playthrough. So it's, it's yeah. All right, let's go to the refiner room. Voila, refiners. So, <laughs> I hear you, buddy. Oh, that goes quick, okay. Nope, maybe. What? It, what? Jeez. That blows. Can you turn? You can't turn it. What? I hate permadeath. <laughs> I really, really hate permadeath, guys. Got over 1,400 hours in Starfield. Nice, dude. I think I'm, I think I'm under, like, between three and 400 hours. I ain't looked in a while. I got a, I got a kick on it. Uh, I think uh, Tragos was going on detachment and he was talking about uh, starting a new character in Starfield and playing through and I'm like well there's an idea so I started a new character and played through it um, that same week and I think I was on maybe the second or third run through before I said yeah it's getting repetitive and Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much seriously. Honestly, I don't mind perma I like the challenge of permadeath and I like the, the the uncertainty that you might you know you might kill over in permadeath, but the inventory, the inventory sucks, man. Like inventory, like literally, an hour of my day today was putting resources in storage containers on this freighter and organizing because, dude, I use the freighter like. The freighter storage was basically throw it in, throw it under the bed and sort it out later for me. It's like the equivalent of sweeping it under the rug. And when I finally decided to start straightening up my inventory, oh my god, it was horrible, man. I I've heard inventory full for two or three hours today. I'm like, shut it, suit lady. <laughs> Perma super satisfying to have an in game, super frustrating to get there. Yes. <laughs> and like I said, man, I, I don't I don't mind playing permadeath. I like the 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 bit of the difficulty, but also it's it's tough to be very uh industrious in permadeath. Let's put it that way. Like playing it, it's not bad at all. Like you got tons and tons of inventory. Catherine Hubbard, how's it going? Heck, yeah, good to see you. Welcome to it. Like, permadeath's not bad, and I don't mind the inventory that much when you're just playing. Because you got, like, I got tons of inventory in my suit and in my ships to haul around about anything. But to be industrious, like, set up a large farm or, or a, a especially, like, with circuit boards and stuff, or, I mean, um, uh, stasis devices, like, the amount of inventory that that takes and the amount of items that you got to craft and, uh, and store and have access to at the same time, it, it's going to be tricky. That's why I put uh, storages at my farm. Because most of my farms never had, you know, I just didn't bother with storages because I could always, you know, call my freighter in. But I put it at the farm so you could, like, if you craft, you'd have it there. But yeah, I didn't realize this Aronium was going to take so long to do. I'm so used to having 4,000 capacity refiners. <laughs> uh, nice. How's Catherine doing? It is awesome to see you. Uh, play too long on free mode. Yeah, I know, dude. 
us the birth plate to use cheat to get the Mars globe and disabled achievements. Oh no! Brutal. Oh, let's see what I missed. You want to repeat? Yeah, it's a it's a good return on investment for silver, but as far as like refining the stuff, same way with the. Uh, with the uh, dehydrogen jellies and the dehydrogen, you know, it's like it is just, you know, like pulling freaking teeth to get it done. It's like to sit around and play with the refiner all day. I was thinking that there were winners coming. Heck yeah, Chunt. Nice. Yeah, I, I've been, like I said, I've been missing streaming, and the wife's been at me about getting back into it, and a few of my guys have been asking me, you know, when I was going to start streaming again, and I'm like, yeah, I want to, but, man, I'm telling you, 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 you would be amazed at how lazy I've gotten. Like, I get home from work and play video games till bed. Uh, preparing for the zombies cross the wall. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that is so weird, man. Y'all guys going into winter as we're getting into summer. We starting to see some of that, some of that, uh, crazy weather let's see how much silver do I got now that stuff don't stack but oh my god yeah brutal let's see where is my minerals hanging out at there they are cool well I won't need silver for a while I think I got enough silver, guys. I might be all right. Oh my god. Too much. Cool. It's been like spring outside here now. Love it. Yes. Miss Sword was sick of you and was like, go play. Get. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Spring is slowly unfolding in New England. I love the season. Lilac Sunday at the Boston Arboretum is. Oh, nice. Cool, cool, Catherine. Heck yeah. Now, we actually had a, a tornado uh, warning. Uh, when was it? Thursday, I believe. Maybe? No, Tuesday night. No, Thursday. That's right. Yeah. You got pretty. Uh, got pretty scary out here last week like last last summer we had one um, hit about you know, a mile from here no three miles and uh man it done some it done some damage and like I said it I'm talking I've been out this way for years and years and never had to worry about tornadoes but yeah man Last couple summers been kind of, kind of interesting. All right, so what was I needing here? Was it silver that I was missing for these? I believe it was. Enough to build six. Crap, I'm gonna be short like one. That sucks. Uh, nope, I'm short uh, six of them, so I'm out of face him again. Okay, cool. Well, I got face him in the in the domes, working on that now, or working at the base. So by the time I harvest, I should be good to go. Which I may have. Ah, eh, no, I won't have enough to make a difference. All right, so that's that. Let's see. Let's uh, move some of this stuff. Let's 
go find a, a home for that cactus flesh. We had our first tornado watch. No, I, oh man. Yeah, that's a, that's a scary stuff, Mary. Let's put those in there. Got room in here for the rest of it. Oh my, got a, what was that? That was my, oh man, there's a lot of my stuff. Holy smokes. All right, so we need to move that down and I need to take a stack of a dock site and put it in here. Oh, move that up. There we go. Take a stack of a pair of or phosphorus. Phosphorus. All right, quit being stubborn and get in the spot. There we go. Let's see. All right. My goodness. And where did I put all it? I had more uranium than that, didn't I? My goodness. Chewing through resources, boys. Let's see, I'll put that down here. All right, what was that? Paraffinium. There we go. All right, cool. So that needs to go right there. Hmm. I remember I had this thing organized. Alright, so I need oxygen. Cool. Alright, so oxygen's on the back end. Brutal, Mary. Yeah, tornadoes are scary stuff. I feel sorry for anybody that lives in like a, a area where it's a, a common occurrence. So there's my oxygen. Oxygen. Cool. Well, that looks good. Let's see. There's my ferrites. Let's get them out of here. Cool. Let's see. Alright, so there's all my metals. What did I have there? Can't remember. Hmm. Oh, more dot. No, I more dot. Hmm. Weird. Stick that more out in here. And the rest of that face him. Cool, cool, cool. What in the world did I have in that spot? Oh, I know what it was. Chromatic metal. Silly, silly sword. There we go. Now, that's my OCD is complete. Alright, so that can go to the ship. That can be sold. That needs to go into storage over here. It's my process, guys. Bear with me. It's been a it's been a minute since the OCD bug came out and bit me. All right, so let's see. Let's send that to the starship. Back to the starship. Let's see. Send that storage. Doesn't matter. As you said, the danger level for tornadoes has been shifting. I think there are more of them in the deep south now than the traditional tornado alley. Is way. Yeah, I mean, like, well, I live uh, close to a lake. And they generally cause the the change in the wind speed where there's no obstructions as it goes across the lake. Usually split storm systems before they get to my house. And like I said, we'll have them like 10 or 20 miles from here on either side. But we rarely ever get like a bad storm come up and catch us because of the way the storms come through. But I think the the way the um, the wind the wind stream or jet stream or whatnot goes over us is kind of adjusted a little bit to the to the north northwest a little bit or turn northwest more than what it usually does it it, it draws them right up past me now all right done and done now i need really nothing i can do here so let's save just in case
go sell all these uh, black market. Ooh, let's uh, crank some uh, some scanner modules. I need to grab the uh, Atlas staff. All right, let's go. Let's get to. Oh man, I got a bunch of crap in the starship. Son of a gun. Never ends, man. It never ends. So I was doing some reloading and decided to uh for the freighter and I decided where I was at was a black market system, so I was like, yeah, let's look let's look and see. We'll grab some scanners and stuff. And like I said, I'm I'm I've done so much rolling that it's to the point where it's not really worth it <laughs> to do these. I think I've already got uh, some really good ones in my in my multi tool already, but nope, nope, nope. Deep South tornado are especially dangerous because of all the trees can't see the storms and there are a lot of flying debris. Yes. Oh I agree. Yeah, the stuff that I'm not, like the technology that I don't use, I'm going to sell the upgrades for and then just uh, run through these and see what I get. Oop, there we go. Last one? What are we going to be? Nothing. All right, so yeah, I've got I've got three of them that's like right at 10,000 on each with a like a 40 or 49, 50% scan radius. So that that's giving me close to like, it's over 500,000 for the rare fauna. So definitely, definitely worth it. Let's see. And I've got one more S class I need to replace with these. And I'm not real sure what the high end on these are. I'm usually just settling, like right there, that 100, 101 and 70 is a good one for me. So I don't know what the high end for that is. It's like, see, the one I'm replacing is 92 and 37. So. Uh, you can talk smack about me now. Oh, I, you know, and that uh, time to go earn a dollar off work. Have a great, and wonderful day at work, buddy. I hope it is uh, swift and uneventful for you today. And if not, I hope you make a whole lot of money off of it. That's the trick. If it's if it's a if it's a pain in the butt and it's a grind to go to work, hopefully you're making a lot of money to do it. Let's see what's that one. Launch thrusters. Ooh, these could be interesting. I haven't seen very many good launch thruster modules. Nope. And nope. It's like the S classes for me are generally static with a 20 and a 10 bonus. Um, occasionally I'll get an S class that has like a 9% uh, uh, boost or something, but like I said, I roll. I tried rolling these on my last save, and it's just like I leave it. I leave it to chance now because they're so so hard to to hit. All right, so that is life support, and I got three good ones now. So I'm thinking we'll sell those movement modules. I have three X class already, so I'll sell those. Mine and beam, I ain't gonna mess with. And da -da -da. yeah, because mine and beam with uh, the Atlas staff and the uh, the uh, Sentinel multi-tool. When you add in the the primary mining beam with the um, uh, with the uh, runic lens, they become so OP that it's kind of it's kind of pointless to uh. Let's see. Let's call the anomaly. Let's get away from the uh, freighter. There we go. Let's call the anomaly. And see if it was blocking the space station. It was. Let's go. Let's see you should have a great day buddy oh scan failed there we go <laughs> takes a couple trip couple attempts what's up turbo life how's it going buddy welcome to it dude
<laughs> How you doing tonight, buddy? You been keeping up with that uh, Omega initiative on uh, or Overdrive initiative in a uh, Star Citizen? Go pass on those. Up, uh, let's see. I that. Let's see that. Nice. I like how he gives you stuff to donate to him. <laughs> it's so funny. What's up, Timothy Tep? How's it going, buddy? Yeah, man. I like I like this one. I like the the. It's got. Uh, I think it's got a piece that sticks out of one side of it. But yeah. Let's see. That cleans up some inventory and gives me some nanites. Yeah, I think I was creeping up on about two hundred thousand nanites whenever, uh, whenever uh, Nova Silver Five and Five of the first mission. Oh my god, dude! The second run, second third run wasn't too bad. It was all, um, it was mostly uh, ship PvP, so it wasn't too too bad. Uh, the fourth and fifth one the fifth one wasn't real bad small group can do it pretty easy fourth one the last the the spk um uh, what's up caroline kelly how you doing dear good to see you yeah way behind just can't find time to play um i'll be around next weekend uh if because you can you can catch up on them i'll be around next weekend and some of the afternoons this week if you get a chance and want some help, man, just shoot us a message in Discord, man. We'll get a group together and go do them. We've had it. We've had a few guys we've been doing them with, just to help them get caught up. But dude, the the fourth round where you had to go to SPK, dude, we went in there like we went in there like five or six deep uh, the other night, and man, we had we had another crew come in to help bail us out. It was that bad, dude. Fifth is best doing solo. It's honestly, yeah, true, true, true. Less buggy, so yeah, probably would be wouldn't be bad solo. But, but yeah, that SPK man, dude, I'm telling you, that was a that was some intense PvP. Like I, I've had some, I've had some bunker missions that were uh that were a little dicey running solo, but there's there's no way, no way, I could run that one solo. Like it, it just I ain't built that way. <laughs> but yeah, that I think when we made it back to a uh, Seraphim station that night, um, everybody was heading to the med clinic. I think everybody had like tier two, three injuries, <laughs> just all over. Like my poor my poor guy was limping. I thought he was gonna start crawling. <laughs> he was so bad. <laughs> all right, let's see. You find a black market system here. If these playthroughs look rough, yeah. <laughs> Not bad for Monday morning. Well, happy Monday morning to you, Carolyn. <laughs> Heck yeah. How you been? Long time no see. Long time no stream. Glad to have you guys. All right. No battle. Cool. All right. So let's see. Now, what I normally do with these is kind of a... I do it to earn some nanites, and I do it to look for S-Class ships. Uh, because black market systems will have a, a higher spawn rate of S-Classes. Now, granted, the S-Classes that you get will not be max slots and probably have questionable stats. But for the purposes of the S-Classes, I am uh, just using them for scrapping because scrapping pretty much any S-Class in a black market system will net you at least one. I rarely... I think out of maybe 50 ships, I've seen one not give me an augmentation, if not give me three of them per. So, like I said, it's well worth the, the scrap. Plus that, and you get a second uh, opportunity to buy these uh, suspicious arms packets and tech packets that you can open up and sell to the vendor up at the station for uh, for uh, nanites. Now that, now that Junt's not here, I'm going to start raking in all these S-Class ships. Like I literally have had the the absolute best luck with this here lately. It's like I'll I'll do this in about every system, 
and pull an S class almost every time. <laughs> but it's not going it's not going to hit here. It may hit at the space station. Thank you. Heck yeah. Good good to have you back in it. Good to be back. Yeah, I was a uh, I've been pondering and, and kicking around idea of streaming again and getting back into it and man I just I know like my personality makes me want to do it all the time once I start and it's really really hard to um, to put a balance in it where you're doing it only like certain days because I enjoy it so much when I'm doing it I want to do it every day well then I do it every day and I'm doing it so much that I get burnt out on it and yeah it's 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 rough <laughs> So hopefully, hopefully this time around will be a little different. I won't be, uh, I won't be hitting, hitting it hard every day. I'll try to make it a, a much, a less frequent, uh, schedule that can, uh, uh, bear me out some time to, uh, to be able to relax and just enjoy playing games and stuff, which not that I don't enjoy streaming. It's just, like I said, it, it gets to be, it gets to be too much after with me. Logged on for work this morning to find six people want some of my time before lunch. Shut the laptop, made coffee, and watched some sore. Made, <laughs> made it future me problem instead. Nice, Jasper. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, fortunately, uh, right now, um, right now is pretty, uh, pretty good. I'm um, getting ready to, um, I'm getting ready to uh, uh, inherit a new route at work and so i'm training my replacement uh currently at work and he's done he done really well uh from what i can see or surmise from uh, my vacation week he hadn't had too many problems that he couldn't fix with a quick phone call um please give our regards and thanks for miss sore for encouraging you to stream again uh, i will trust me she knows she i like i said I enjoy streaming, and when I do it, I'm a happier person. It's just like I said, when I, I'll get, I'll start doing it, and I'll get to where I'm doing it every day. And once it gets to the point where I'm trying to do it every day, it's when the that's when the burnout starts setting in. Like doing it every day is, is special. Like my old work schedule was really really difficult, but like I said, now I'm, I'm training my replace rocket boots. Dang you. I'm training my replacement for my route, and uh, so my days are my days are a lot shorter at the moment because uh, you know four hands make less work. But all right, so no S classes here. Let's uh, every day is too much. Yeah, it, and but the problem is like I enjoy it. I want to do it every day, and then I get get in the habit. You know, it gets turns into a habit, and then habit just get you know leads to burnout. Which, to be fair, my, my hours um, when I took a break at work was getting really, really rough. And uh, just work was getting to be, work was getting to be stressful. And trying to keep up with multiple games was getting stressful. And yeah, it was a, it took its toll when I finally just, you know, something had to go. And that, that was about the only thing I could really sacrifice time-wise that would, uh, Rocket boots, dang you. We'll make a t-shirt, yeah. <laughs> Freaking rocket boots. I usually on permadeath, I don't use, I usually don't install rocket boots on permadeath because they're deadly. But yeah. That's right, little meanie. Like rock boots for getting around stations. That's why I installed them, was because of space stations. As No Man's Sky play on the Switch, I was thinking about picking it back up when I'm working away from home. Uh, I had somebody in the chat earlier, Turbo Life, was talking about they, they got a, a, a Steam Deck, and it was a lot better. But, like I said, I, I think uh, 
there's a there's some limitations to the uh, to the switch. Exactly. Me too, Hyper. If you could turn them off when you don't want them, would be awesome. It's not bad for passive money. You get like six million every time you run into one of these th into one of these uh, freighter battles and black market stations usually net me. It's more often than not I run into a battle once I go uh, out hitting black market systems. So. Like they don't hit the same, they don't run on the same timers as the uh, capital ship battles. I don't believe because I've like I can jump to the next black market system and there'll be another battle. Um, and I've had like five or six of them. Uh, no multiplayer or sediments on Switch, if I remember right. Cool, cool, Josh. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, um, I think they, I think there's some limitations to to the to the Switch. I'm not sure, but or the ROG. Yeah, yeah. If I probably won't. Want this. But as far as the quality goes, I don't know. We got a little experimental pistol, C class. Hey, cool, cool. And I did not go to the uh, out or the outpost yet. I meant to do that when I got out of the freighter. Let's go hit that real quick. See what's flying in first. Hello, C class. I have noticed it seems like the uh, the NPC ships. On when you don't have a freighter battle, or just in in general, started coming in a lot faster since uh since this update or since the orbital. This I hate. I really, really I like the fact that they added trade surges and that's a new thing. Yeah, I mean, as far as like in-game profitability, I don't think it work. It's worth it. But I hate the fact that it added that option instead of just scanning for the outpost. <laughs> What's up, Silent? How you doing, buddy? Doing great, man. Doing great. Good to see you, bud. But yeah, dude, that just, like I said, the, uh, the adding that extra layer of uh, text that you got to interact with to scan for a trade post is, uh, is a bit annoying. Or it gets tedious after a while. Especially when you're doing it for doing it a lot. Ooh, do they got basalt here? That's a good question, sword. Let's scan and see. Most of these volcanic places will have basalt. I need to resupply. Cobalt. I didn't pay attention in the uh Ooh, it's extreme sentinel too? Yeah, I might have to pass on that. All right. Man, yeah, doing great, buddy. Doing great. Just chilling, playing some permadeath. It's almost 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 like normal mode. Without the uh with the inventory hassle. Ooh. do what we come here for. Let's grab these suspicious packs and get back up to the space station. Let's see if I got any more red dots flying around here. I think I'm good. Let's roll. Heck yeah, man. Y'all can, y'all 07 old explorer in the chat, man. I'm telling you. Every, every time, every time I've seen him in somebody else's chat in the last few months, he's, he's, he's asked me when I was going to come back to streaming. It's like, man, I'm going to do it for old explorer tonight. <laughs> but heck yeah, man. We miss you. I miss y'all guys. All right. 
Let's see, I didn't check the multi-tool, didn't hit that guy. Let's go. I haven't come across a trade surge yet. Does it do much? Um, you can scan for a trade surge, and I think it's kind of like, um, from what I've seen of it, and I could be wrong. You guys can correct me in the chat if I'm wrong. Uh, from what I've seen of it, you, you do the trade surge scan, and it sends you to a system, and you buy up all the, the manufacturing goods, like the stuff that's in the gray box, and then you take it to the next system. I believe it shows you. I ain't sure if it shows you or not. But you go to the next system or, or whatnot, and you can sell it for a higher profit, or you buy up all the stuff in that system. I don't really... I haven't played with it enough to, to basically get a, a firm grip on it. I seen Captain Steve uh, mess with it the other day. But it's basically, I I would assume it's uh, it's something to, to enter, like, um, kind of reiterate trade routes. Thank you, buddy. But we can go check it out when, when I leave this station. Pulse engines, shields. Let's see, is there anything in here I need to try out? I think I'm good on everything. Let's try to pull spitter and see if I get anything good. Oh! Ah, that's not bad. 4%. I ain't real sure, I think. Mr. Sandman, dude! Thank you for the 20 spot, buddy. Guys, 07, Mr. Sandman in the chat. Dude, thank you. Thank you very much, man. Freaking A, dude. I haven't done enough of the uh, pulse spinners to know if 4% is the top end on the black market, but I've not seen anything past 4%. Oh, that was the scanner. I haven't seen anything past 4% on the uh, on them. Heck yeah, man. Dude, thank you, buddy. Much appreciated, bud. Very, very nice. That down there. Nice. That raised my damage potential up. Nice. Sorry, I've been around. Hope all's well. I well, I mean, no apologies necessary, dude. I haven't been around uh, for almost nine months. I took a I took a little hiatus. M Mrs. Sword locked me in the closet and just let me out. That's what I've been telling everybody. Man, I'm having the worst S class. Like, I've usually pulled a scrap ship already. <laughs> it's crazy. It's because I'm streaming. That's what it is. Let's see. All the cool stuff happens when I'm not streaming or sharing my screen with anybody. That's usually how it goes. It's like, oh man, you should have seen it. Sword's coming out. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> he locked me into the dungeon, guys. She finally, finally let me out. Heck yeah, dude. Thank you very much, man. You guys, definitely. 07, that same man in the chat. That's freaking awesome, bud. Heck yeah, Mary. All right, all right, all right, all right. What do we got? What do we got? I need a black market system is just going to pour S classes out. Now that Junt's gone, we can we can always we can tell him to go back and watch the stream when he had to go to work. I've been joking around with him commenting on his videos uh like he he was he was finding S classes so fast uh for uh, the whole time I was gone and uh, I <laughs> slush on the skin. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> something like that, man. Something like that. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he's been even even uh he's been uh, bragging about how easy it's been to find uh, how bad he's been beating lava in the S class hunting on these uh what did I do that for? Uh, and then when I started playing, he started. I think the he had one where it took him like fifty minutes to uh to find a multi tool. <laughs> I'm like, yep. I done, I done, I done sapped up all the Murray Chlorians. <laughs> How do y'all guys... Now, let me ask you guys this. How do you like the uh, the marker 
starting at the center of your screen and moving to the actual location now. And how many of you guys just sit still and wait on it now? Like I always, I got, I was so, I, I had such a habit of as soon as I scanned, start rotating the ship around looking for the marker. And now I've finally, I've gotten to the point now where I, I'll just start waiting on it. Is that half dead son of a gun at? There he is. There we go. Like the new marker thing? Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, I, I didn't. It took me a little while to get used to like scanning and waiting for it to pop in the center of my icon and tell me which direction. But yeah, dude, once you once you get in the habit of doing that, it is awesome. Kaboom, yeah, man. Dude, uh, who was it? Somebody earlier in the stream told me to move my, uh, make a move on my uh, infra knife on my ship, and uh, dude, it gave me like 10,000 more DPS than I had. <laughs> which, it was, it was mean before. <laughs> That fits me going. There it is. It's all C class. Let's go. Uh, basically, when you scan for a waypoint or use a use a map uh, vac killers, um, well, say let me hop in the ship and I'll scan for another trade outpost real quick. All right. So when you go to scan for a waypoint or use a map, um, if you wait for it. The icon will pop in the center of your screen, center of your reticle, and move towards uh, the location. Maybe there it goes. Well, basically that I that icon will be in the center of your in your reticle, and then move towards the marker so you know what direction to turn your ship. That's new since uh, that's new with Ome the Omega Expedition. But yeah, definitely liking it. Makes makes a uh, scanning for stuff much much more simpler, or finding the waypoints that it marks for you easier. something to scrap. I need some more uh, storage slots for my ship. I'm at 83. I'm going to get it up to 120. Which I've done pretty good. I think I had like 230 um, units or 230 million units. Uh, there we go. It was a time for an S-Class to fly in. I had 230 uh, million units when I started uh, playing on a save and I have pretty much around the same amount. All right, let's go to the station.
Eddie Tool. Thank you for subscribing, buddy. Welcome to the channel. Good to have you. Let's see. It's don't have any. Yeah, it's got tech right there. Break that tech down for you, scrap guys. You never know when you're going to need a, a wiring loom. Right. Yeah, it was a couple days, on, especially on normal mode. I'd be going to the terminal to scrap one of the S classes, and two more would fly in. I'd <laughs> stop and go buy them before I scrapped. Because you get back about like 80% of the value of what you spent. So you really don't lose a whole lot of money. And especially buying these smaller tier uh, explorers and fighters and stuff, you're, you know, like even like the small haulers are like 20 million and you get back 80% of that value. And then like this one, we picked up, picked up uh, one, I think I have once, we picked up two uh, storage augmentations off of it. So I lost, I'm down what was that like three or four million that I bought it for and then I got I should got back three so I'm down like a million uh units but I got a two storage augmentations that was worth 150 million units if you if you just pay for the storage slots so let's, let's grab those cool now let's go get rid of all this mess Quill of Hagen Sword, did you try Starfield? Not bad in my opinion. I had a blast in Starfield, man. I I probably it was in between uh, three and four hundred hours of Starfield. I can check real quick. Won't take to say I got steam and minimized in the background. Let's see, Starfield. What we got? Oh, never mind. My bad. I got four hundred and seventy-eight hours in Starfield. <laughs> So yeah, I've got almost 500 hours of Starfield in under my belt. I, I had, I really liked Starfield. I ain't gonna lie. I really liked it. It it baffled me about how much uh, ire and ire and, uh, and uh, salt with some of the content creators had about it. But to be fair, I had I had lower expectations of it going in than some people did. You know what I mean? Because there was a lot of people that thought that was going to be the uh, absolute best space game ever um, when it released. And granted, it's a really good space game. I enjoy the crap out of it. But like I said, I had I had moderated my expectations for it, so I wasn't I wasn't disappointed about the the stuff that I that some people was upset about if that makes any sense but yeah all right so let's get these uh, text popped cool uh best space game ever of all times <laughs> yeah <laughs> Black Splash things it should it should have and have not things that no man's sky from the beginning. Well, I mean, like I said, it, it it to me, like I said, I went into it, um, I went into it like with like I said, low expectations for the game itself. Like I was kind of leery about Bethesda because I was I, I I'd heard some bad stuff about Bethesda, but I was like, hey, you know. To be fair, I, for what I spent on that game and what the hours I've gotten out of it as far as gameplay goes, yeah, it was it was well, well worth what I spent on it. But like I said, some, some people had a hard, harder time with it or had uh, issues with it. Um, 
and like I said, it's kind of like, kind of like with No Man's Sky. You know, if you play like I do and, and don't do a lot of multiplayer, it uh, you don't really see why people get so bent out of shape about the uh, the multiplayer in No Man's Sky. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think that could be part of my part of my why I liked it was because I really wasn't doing some of the stuff that a lot of people were having fun. So I enjoyed it. Uh, but I like the base line of Tesla. Nice. Yeah, I think the hype did more to harm to good for start. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of guys that were uh, that were extremely hyped up for Starfield. And then when it come out, they are like, well, this is it. Hey, man. It, they... From what I seen, from what Bethesda released in all their videos, and this is what you're getting with Starfield. I think we got what they told us. You know, it was all the it was all the uh, the extra hoopla that <laughs> people people added that people uh, speculated and added on to it that was, was what made it uh, harder for them to swallow. <laughs> We really like Starfield a lot. It was actually what I thought. Exactly. I mean, yeah, that's that's for me, man. I, I really, I I had a blast on it. Now let me, I I say I I never did pick up Starfield, dude. I to be fair, uh, Turbo Life. I would say it's a, especially now because you probably get it at a, at a at a on sale or something. But dude, it, it's definitely worth worth playing. I, I will say that. I would say if you if you like No Man's Sky and you like Star Citizen, you would like Star uh, Starfield. But like I said, it, it to me is like the stuff it didn't have didn't bother me that much. I mean. Well, let me put it, this, put it this way. A lot of people's gripe about Starfield was when you landed, you were in a in a, a, a finite area that if you kept walking after so far, you would eventually run across a barrier to where you couldn't pass or it wouldn't render or what whatnot. I'd never done it myself. But you but they was like, well, you can't walk you can't uh, you can't explore all the way around the planet on foot. I'm like, well, okay. If that's your thing, so be it. But, you know, No Man's Sky's had that for years and years, and I don't know many people that's walked completely around the planet. There's a couple people. There's a couple people. But, but like I said, I just, I didn't see that as a problem because, you know, we, we have that No Man's Sky, and heck, I've never done it, you know? I'd be fair. You're lucky. You're lucky if I'll jetpack a thousand you to a, a point of interest in No Man's Sky without pulling my ship out and going there. Yep, exactly. It's like the uh, transition, like uh, it's a cutscene when you land. You know, so like when you land your ship, it ain't like you're flying it and actually manually landing it anywhere. It's it's a cutscene. A lot of people griped about that, and I'm like, well, you know, it's I don't. I never seen that as an issue. Uh, fire gaming coming, basically in this guy with single planet Minecraft style. Oh, like no fire. Yeah, now, to be fair, man, I, I, I like that trailer, and I will be getting that game and playing that game, especially because it's Hello Games. I mean, to be honest with you, man, anything Hello Games puts out is going to be in my library. As far as I'm gonna wait until it comes out and see what it's like before I speculate or judge it. You know, it looks amazing, but like I said, I I don't know. <laughs> it was. I think it's gonna be good. I think uh, like anything, Hello Games, it will need updates. I don't. I really don't suspect but to be fair though, the last several updates uh, we've had with No Man's Sky has been pretty smooth. I ain't had very many issues at all with uh, No Man's Sky as far as like having to wait on a patch to fix something. So I never saw cutscene landing as a gripe. It's more cinematic experience than exactly Mac. Oh dude, yeah, building your own spaceship was that was one of my favorite things. 
Like, I would rush through the story um, on my playthroughs to get enough to get enough uh, 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 resources together to uh, build a spaceship. Hood Gaming, what's up, dude? How you doing, buddy? Good seeing you, man. But heck yeah, man. Like I said, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed Starfield. I think it was a I think it's a definitely if you're a No Man's Sky fan, that would be a definitely be a good game for your library. Uh, fully half my Starfield hours are played in the shadow, right, dude? <laughs> dude, Eshmorel, man, Eshmorel built a freaking spaceship. <laughs> my God, I don't know how it got off the planet, but they would. I would need a freaking map, a hunting dog, and a Ouija board to find my way through his ship. It was so elaborate, but <laughs> it was it was pretty wild. <laughs> What do we got? Come on. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. He uh he was in Discord the other night and he was he, he was wanting to show me his ship. So basically Discord you can uh you can share your uh, uh gameplay in the in the voice channels and uh he was he was sharing the screen and was walking through his walking through his ship and I mean my god that thing was elaborate and massive. But like I said, man, I've seen a lot of cool, really cool uh, Starship builds in uh, Addicting. I agree. I agree. Like I had, um, I had one of my playthroughs. I said I want to do a lot of this. I want to do a lot, all the side. Well, I wanted to do all the side quests and all turned into just the main side quest and then to some side quest and then the okay, I'm ready to start over again. <laughs> but one of my playthroughs, I started doing some of the side quests. Well, you know, with that game, it doesn't take a lot before you build up enough money to build a really massive, cool ship. And that's pretty much all you need. You know, that's the only thing I really needed the, the, the credits for was the ship building and buying parts. So, like I said, doing the playthrough, I ended up, uh, I think I ended up, had, I had four or five ships that were like seven or eight hundred million credits a piece that I invested in or had invested in parts in it. I haven't played anything since January. That sucks, Mary. I can't, I hope you can get back to it. Out of the games I have that I won't actually get a good playthrough, Imperion is Space Engineers, but better. The next four foundations is a monster of a game, but usually Star Citizen zips my attention along with it. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hyper's uh, become an avocado for them guys. So, definitely busying up his gameplay days. Which, to be fair, man, I, li I like Star Citizen most days. I wasn't liking it too good Friday night, but <laughs> at least that's the first that's the first time in a long time Star Citizen's got me rattled enough to quit playing that night. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll be back out of the patch. <laughs> Not a good year for playing. Oh, that sucks, guys. Definitely, definitely uh, wish uh, happiness and health upon your households. But yeah, man, I, I've definitely... Uh, I mean, to be fair, Star Citizen has been pretty good that last... Well, I mean, probably most of last year, I would say. I've had some really... Like, there's been a couple patches that's like really push the multiplayer or the cooper cooperative gameplay i mean this hit and miss like um they have hang on a second i gotta yell at a kid real quick i'll be right back oh i didn't mute
All right, I'm back. Mark, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Love, live vicarious through your streamers. Oh, I'll submit that. Oh, I'll try, man. I'll try. Ugh. Having the biggest gameplay update ever in the next month or so. Last big update. Just changed back in system, which really, really broke a lot. Yes. Yes, it did. Which, I mean, like I said, it, when, uh, what was it? When, I can't remember what patch it was, but when they added, um, the illegal cargo or the questionable cargo to the uh npc uh uh pve fights uh some of the larger ships had uh had illicit cargo that you could harvest after you shot them down and you could put them in a cargo ship and fly them to uh shady uh shady uh vendor spots in this in the system which were very dangerous because most people knew those were shady spots that people went to go sell drugs and illicit materials. So, uh, they, they wouldn't, they wouldn't too concerned about, uh, about your, uh, well-being and safety and would kill you and take them and sell them for themselves. So that was a, that was a pretty good patch. I, we, we as a group had a lot of fun doing that one because you could have, you could have anywhere from two or three guys playing or up to 10 or 12 guys playing everybody made good money off of it which you know that that was like that's that's a good thing that it's profitable enough to draw the interest of uh, of a uh, multiple multiple crew but it's also is every you always there was even the like moving boxes was fun which i i enjoyed the uh stacking cargo quite a bit. Alright, sell the rest of that. My organizing and uh and finding interesting ways to stack your cargo in your ship was uh really fun for me. Not at all not all good. Not all bad. Yeah true true. Uh, but stuff coming over from Squadron 42, 3, 2, and 3, it's huge, change out, yes, I agree. Uh, just more chance, more chance to play, we're back to the pitch 4 and some of the accessories, we just keep, uh, oh no, I hopefully husband beats the dick all that stuff out for you, or find it for you when you, uh, get in your new room, Mary Mary. We, we tend to like our spouses to be happy. Sometimes we're lazy and sometimes we're annoying, but we we tend to get along better when y'all are happy, so you never know. But yeah, like I said, I've, I've been enjoying a few games. I'm looking forward to uh, Valheim when Ashland is dropped. That's supposed to be this late spring, early summer, I hope. I think. But yeah, Valheim, Valheim's another fun one. But... Like I said, it's it's one of them, it's one of them games. It's like I was talking about this on uh, Azraf's stream uh, yesterday. Um, there's a lot of games out that I like, but there's a lot of games I'll play when they have a big patch. Uh, go through the new content and you know get get my feel of all the new content, and then once uh once I play through all the new stuff, I go back to another game. And that, you know, one of my things with the uh, No Man's Sky has always been that it's more recently that I've taken longer breaks from it, but this has always been a, a game that has had a, a strong uh, base community or a strong community base that that plays it all the time. Even if, like, if, like say when Starfield come out, you know, a lot of people go play, put two or three hundred hours into Starfield, and then it was back into No Man's Sky. Uh, but you know, I haven't seen, I haven't seen very many games in recent years that has, that has that longevity and player base, you know, like Valheim, awesome game. I recommend that anybody, anybody that can play that, I think on P, just on PC, I think, but, uh, anybody that can, can get Valheim, it's definitely worth, definitely worth the game, worth the play or worth what it costs to play it. Um, definitely a great game but like i said 
there's a finite amount of content that you're going to get through before you are done and you take a break from it. So no ship's going to land here. I don't think it is because it's a worm ribbon planet. That's why, that's kind of my concern. Uh, Valheim's good multi Yes, definitely a fun multiplayer game. Um, but that's definitely my concern with, um, with the full ship customization is because for the longest time in between updates, that was your, that was a, a big portion of your player base was the people that would hunt for multi-tools, starships, um, uh, fauna, stuff like that to post up on discord. Oh, it's on, on Xbox as well. Nice. Oh, explore. Cool. Um, but for the longest time, you know, especially the first, you know, first five, four or five updates, you know, we would go three to six to a year, three to six months to a year between update cycles. And, you know, you had a, a, a pretty steady player base that would stick around in between the updates as opposed to some games that, you know, that the, a lot of people only play when patches drop. Valheim and Nightingale and Planet R Planet Crafter were all great, but not 5,000 hours worth of life. Exactly, Caroline. And, and that's my point with it. It's like, there's been some really cool games and really good games that's come out that I think are really great games. But as far as like longevity, where I'll keep coming back and, and put two or 3,000 hours in, there's not many out there. Uh, by how much these cycles too slow for people have a lot of time, know, right? <laughs> it, it is brutal, man. Well, that and that was that that was my I don't know, it's not as much that it was a problem for me as it was more of a minor annoyance. It's like, you know, people that 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 pay for 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 servers so they could do the multiplayer with the with a large group of friends, you know, if you're going five, six months to a year between updates, it kind of sucks, uh, you know, dropping 10, 15 bucks on a server every, you know, every month to keep your data on that server or keep that server up and running when, you know, it's not there. What is up, Matt? How's it going, dude? I ain't going to out you, but I know who you are. <laughs> Big old fluffy Matthew. Uh, ship customization, in my opinion, improves ship hunting. I think... I don't know, man. I really don't know, dude. Cause, like, which I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm probably. I'm not like doomsayer negative against it. I think it's. I think it's a great, a great attribute to the game for some, for a lot of people. But for the overall longevity of the game, like for like. When you, when like when you go between update cycle A and update cycle B, that gap between those updates, the concurrent player numbers, I think you're going to see, I think you're going to see a dip after this. Three hundred hours build my main base if I die, dude. Heck yeah. Uh, got to flip stuff on the grill. Wanted to say hello. What is up, Zenith Hellhammer? Good to see you, man. Heck yeah. It's hard to find find as good of a sandbox in MS Sky. Open sandbox games aren't for everyone, but those who love them, they never end. Exactly. Well, and that, and that was one of the things uh, Azrath was asking everybody in the group um, uh, yesterday was, you know, about, you know, in game for No Man's Sky. And for me, it's like, it's, there's a, there's a, like, No Man's Sky is such a diverse has such a diverse community as far as like play styles. I'm not, I'm not talking about a, uh, check it, ticking boxes on a, on a, on a diversity card. I'm just saying as far as like play styles, like how people and how people enjoy their time in the game and what people do, uh, with their time in the game is, is very diverse and very broad. Um, for the longest time, I never, I never really like, considered other play styles or things that I felt to be either insignificant or 
not worth my time or not really enticing for me to do. Um, I never considered for the longest time that some people enjoy those things, like thoroughly enjoy the time they spend doing those things. So once I once I started like opening up my like a consideration as to you know all the stuff people done doing No Man's Sky and all the different things that No Man's Sky provided for people uh, to do. Um, man, just like I said, there, there's, it's such a diverse player base. It's, it's, it's easy to understand why such a sandbox game would have a, a huge concurrent uh, community that will play it all the time. But like I said, you know, one of those one of those uh, big groups was ship hunting, and I I just I think I think with the limited amount of uh, fuselages, wings, and engines, and variations on fighters and stuff, I mean, there may be races to see who could you know who had which stations and locations and systems has the best uh, upgrades, and that might be the new thing with ship hunting, but I don't I don't see I don't see uh, people spending, you know, hours looking for that S-class crash ship like they did before. All right, uh, not a, authenticated badge adds the value to natural ships. Not a, natural discovered ships. Yeah, because they had to hunt for the parts. Yeah, I say I would say that old explorer, but then too. Like, I look at it from my play experience, and 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 that's only really the experience I can speak from. I don't I don't know. I can't speak for the for for other people uh, that play the game. You guys know how you like to to. You guys know what what how how um how y'all play and what ships y'all like, but, I mean like for me, I'm really like really zeroed in on the type of each style of ship or the style of each type of ship that I that I will that I like um, I know if I'm gonna get an explorer it's gonna be a certain a certain uh, body type and it's gonna have certain uh, certain attributes and certain wings and fuselages and cockpits and an antenna and just pretty much I can narrow it down to where there's only about two variants in the game of that style of ship that I'll that I find worth my time to go look for. Um, uh, hey, buddy. Uh, there is shit money. There's all my best friends. But it, like I said, but with that being said, and you guys, you guys have been with the channel of for a, a while. You know, I'm extremely extremely picky when it comes to starships on what that I, I would consider something that I would I would fly around or I would I would consider going to get the S class on. I say that to say this. I built an explorer one day last week. Took me took me about twenty five minutes to get all the parts I needed for it in one system. One 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 explorer had the wings I wanted. The other explorer had the cockpit I wanted. And an explorer's a fuselage, a fuselage two wings. Now I would imagine like stuff like haulers and 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 fighters and stuff that had different parts, maybe different, but no. Nah. And like I said, it, I could be wrong. I hope. I hope I'm wrong. I'm. I hope that this is a boom for the for the the hunting community and the in the Reddit community. Let me roll the chat back. I know I missed some comments. Um, I hope it's a boon for that for this community, and we don't see a a, a a drop off in concurrent players after the patches. I really do. But that was that's one of my main concerns. That with the with the upgrade it's not that i care if people can go get the ship that they want in the color they want it in i think that's a great thing i think once you once you have that option it takes away from the uh, the desire to be the one that finds that perfect ship 
Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, the auth authentication badge activated in natural ships. Finding the parts you want and getting the class you want takes time and resources. I, I'm just saying, I, I think people that would like with me, I, I would say, yeah, that makes a point. But also, if I want a, a purple uh, alpha vector, you know, I can care less about that authentication badge because I want the purple, purple alpha vector. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I think it's going to be give and take with it. But like I said, I hope I'm I hope I'm wrong about it. Like scrapping ships, and you hear that exotic landing? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, Ogden. Well, I mean, and they're so distinct. Like a squid, you you when you hear a squid land, you'll always know when a squid lands, and. Even though I despise squids and wouldn't fly one, I still like seeing them, and they're still it's still a treat when they pop into it when when they fly into your uh, freighter. You see them in a space station. I built two ships far, saved a ton of time by using ships found by other players. When I sought those ships out, if not for new feature either, yeah, true, true. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, y'all got a good point about that. It could be people can go to systems that get discovered for parts, but yeah, I mean that that's. I get it, and and hopefully hopefully I'm wrong. I really, like I said, honestly hope I'm wrong about it. I'm just afraid that it may be a, a negative impact on the on the concurrent players after the patches. Because this is one of the games that that does have a swell, like even like guys that do uh, YouTube content will tell you every time there's a major patch drops for No Man's Sky, viewership booms, and then once all the content's played out, it dwindles back down. Um. Uh, would not start playing again if not for the ability to craft ships. Yeah, true, Hopper. <laughs> I've only found five squids on my own, but all were found while not looking for them. Yeah, I think I've seen, because I put in a lot of hours this week because I was on vacation. I've seen like three of them this week. It's pretty wild, but because I, like I said, they're fairly rare. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Make sure I ain't missing comments. If I missed any of y'all guys' comments, I do apologize. I'm. Well, that fighting the Sentinel is very difficult due to my hand. Yeah, Mary, it's rough. Yeah, if I've missed any comments, guys, I do apologize. I'm, I'm still, I'm still a bit rusty. All right. Let's see. That was all that. Let's go back to the space station. I've never found a squid myself. Oh, dude. Um. I've always, for the longest time, believed that squids were um, were in like the medium to medium to the poor economies because they were so rare to see. And the reason I thought the reason they were so rare for me to see because I always went to high economies, so I always assumed they were just in in lower tier economies. And for the longest time, that's usually where I would see one if I was ever in a low tier economy or whatnot. But I've seen a I've seen quite a few in these black market systems. I would have been happy with paint jobs. Yeah, true. And and to be fair, I you know, that's something the community's been asking for for years and years. So I kind of get why Hello Games would be, dri would be driven to do it. I also feel that's why they didn't include uh, solar ships and, and uh, exotics and uh, and uh, interceptors into the into the into the fold of customization. I have a squid just because it's rare, and I found one that looks pretty cool. Never actually use it. I still get a little excited when I hear see. Yeah. Well, same. I wouldn't ever fly one. Pro I would probably, I think I've owned one for about, I think I own one for an hour on one save on like PlayStation 4. I just get, get, I couldn't get, I couldn't get past how they, how they fly. It's like, it's like they're, it's like the, um, they're way off of, like the center of gravity's way off in them. I'm actually happy we didn't get paint jobs. Only newly made ships boot. 
Oh, you've actually unhappy we didn't get paint jobs only on nearly me. Well, I mean, I, I, I like the fact that they put some like um, where they made you go out and, and hunt the parts. I think if it just come in and pay some nanites for the paints and, and slap it on. Eh. Because they did that mess with the uh, the freighters and they thought like 5,000 nanites was going to be a was going to be a a, a, a like a, a skill or a, or a resource gap that would slow it down some, but nah. Which to be too, I've heard a lot of uh, a lot of people about the uh, the colors not syncing up a multiplayer. A lot of people are fairly upset with that. Man, I am just coming up like snake eyes on these uh, S classes. Like I said, man, it, off stream, dude, it was almost averaging one to two of them a system. Or oh, find its guppies. <laughs> and I like the guppies, Mary. They're cute. Right, let's go. But you see what I mean about passively doing this? I mean, I think we're up like what 25 30,000 nanites already, and I'm only down about seven million on units between scrapping and what you do need to add those three uh, those three augmentations next time I'm up to the station. Savings are complete. Do you have a couple trophy ships you'll never fly? Yeah, true. And to be fair, man, that's that's the golden vector in Starboard Runner right now for most of my saves. Like, I went in and rolled the tech on, on the Starborn Runner on one of my normal mode saves, and it just... I mean, it was good. Good enough, but, like... My interceptor was still, you know, flew flew better, and I liked it better. So I just stuck with it. But it was worth it was worth doing it just to see, you know, because it could have been it could have been so amazing I couldn't pass up doing it. There we go. Maybe that's the trick. I got to complain about not finding S classes to find S classes. <laughs> Oh, that's a god awful ugly explorer too. My first exotic was a red guppy. Still have it on my main save. We'll never get rid of it. I hear you, buddy. No offense. Customization of colors is the most basic thing in video games. I agree. I agree, Hopper. I honestly, I and like I said, I don't. I don't take no offense to it. This is gonna suck because I'm in this like crap bone stock explorer, and they're gonna catch me well before the space station hopefully i can get away how many is it one oh it's only one throw on the brakes he'll fly right past this goose oh i'm gonna we'll hit the good guy and he's gonna get mad at me nice there we go hang on one second guys All right, guys, I'm going to go park it up the station. I got to go kill something that's flying, a flying creature in my son's room. So I will be right back. Uh, the runner's a great ship. It's not an interceptor, but amazing for an exotic. Yeah, true, true. Oh, I do agree with that. It, it looks awesome, and I like it. I just, like I said, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't beat my interceptor. I'll be right back.
back, guys. Sorry about that. Son had a yellow jacket flying around in his room. Uh, Starfield has a cool name. That's the extent of what I know about Starfield. <laughs> Five stars. Nah, man. Starfield's pretty fun, man. I, I enjoyed the gameplay on it. It's... I don't know. Like, starting a new character seems... Yeah, Dad to the rescue. Starting a new character seems kind of brutal. Uh, Cause it's a slower go. Um, But that as well is like... It's, you know, you're starting a, you've already seen the content on a restart or starting a new character. So you kind of, it kind of is tedious, but my first playthrough was actually, actually really fun. Looky there. Where's he at? Hello. I know, right? I wish I had some sweet potato pie, dude. That actually sounds pretty good right now. Alright, that's two down, and I picked up... Nice! Picked up four more, uh... Four more augmentations off of those two ships. Uh, was there ever a verdict on the Nintendo Switch version of MSCI? Does it hold up? It is. Is there crossplay? I don't know if the, I don't. I'm not sure. I don't think it does multiplayer, and I think it doesn't have settlements. And there's a few things somebody was mentioning it or, or talked about it earlier. Uh, MTG. Um, but yeah, I think it. I think it sacrifices multiplayer and in some of the gameplay. Uh, I do still think that overall experience in Fallout 4 was better than Starfield. No real copy paste of locations like in the space game, but a lot of time went into detail in that wasteland. Yeah, true, true. Well, see, I never did play a Fallout game, so I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, have an opinion on that one, but like I said, I don't know from, from their previous stuff, but I've, I've seen... I know a lot of people that's played it like you and Zane and, and a few other of my friends that really enjoyed the Fallout series. Oh, I never checked the multi-tool. Let's go check the multi-tool. Or did I? May have. Cool. You tried 76 while they considered the worst Bethesda game on launch. And to me, I thought, said, I mean, I didn't, I heard a lot of bad about 76 but from the like the gameplay i seen of it it seemed you know seemed okay now i bought um i think i did buy 76 i bought it i bought it in a fallout might have been four it wasn't new vegas i think it was four because somebody recommended to try uh four uh, before i got started into 76 and like I said, I played it a little bit, like maybe a couple hours, and I just, it just wasn't my type of game. Which, to be fair, I didn't think I was going to like the looting in Star Citizen, or I mean, uh, uh, Starfield as much either. But it's like I watched a lot of like Zane's content where he's checking every shelf for stuff, you know. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's scan for the trade outpost. Drive seventy six. I like said the worst Bethesda game I launched. Yeah, like I said, I heard it. I heard some rough stuff about it. Like I said, I think I bought it. I may have bought it for PS four. Are you sure? It's been a while, man. I think it's, what, three years old now? Three or four? 
Which, to be fair, I learned... I learned with the Starfield and... I learned with Starfield, you can't listen to the credits. Which, to be fair, I kind of learned it with No Man's Sky, too, but... It's another reason I like the Interceptor, man. You just pump them brakes and then punish them when they fly past you. Oh yeah, I'm not in, I'm not in a bone stock explorer now, buddy. Y'all done messed up. But yeah, I, to be fair, when I bought uh I bought my first copy of No Man's Sky, I went to GameStop. Um I had just got the PS4 uh for me and my youngest kid. And we were playing uh Minecraft on PS3. And I decided I was going to get a copy of Minecraft for the PS4 for him. And I was in there. I picked up the copy for uh, PS4 Minecraft. And I asked the clerk about uh, No Man's Sky. And this dude went in the old spill about how bad of the game it was. And this, that, and the other. You know, the whole... The, he gave me a brief history of all the negative about No Man's Sky. And recommended me not, not getting it. And, uh... And I and I went and picked up a copy of Elite Dangerous, and and uh, I walked back past the No Man's Sky case, and I'm like, I'm like, dude, the cover art on the the cover art on the box is worth putting on a shelf, even if I don't play. It's and I paid thirteen dollars for my first copy of No Man's Sky, and uh, I say even for thirteen bucks, I'll turn it into a freaking drink coaster. It looks cool. And, uh, dude, the, re the reason I'm a No Man's Sky player and not an Elite Dangerous player is because I put No Man's Sky into PlayStation first and, like, a year and a half later before I ever took it out for another game. Who knows? Giving you like Starfield, maybe someday you'll get Paul out another chance. Find out what, find out you really like it too. Yeah, I, I watched the. Uh, I think you would you wouldn't in chat. Yeah, I think it was just me and Copen earlier this morning. I told him I had watched the uh, first episode of Fallout this morning. It's like it's kind of weird, but I like it. <laughs> I think having a I think having a knowledge of the game would probably help me understand the the show better but yeah some of the artwork was done by Simon Stahlhag highly recommend his work oh cool man heck yeah I'll to check him out I just got 76 on show not sure if I ever play it though yeah which they, I know uh, Golden Gek and uh, Zane, there's a lot of uh, like multiplayer stuff or online with 76. Dep, I, well, <laughs> I watch what I say, I don't want to commit to anything I can't commit to, but I always say it. I would, I would probably enjoy a multiplayer on that more than uh, Red Dead. <laughs> Play it. Oh, Starfish? Yeah, man. Looky there. See what I'm saying? It's hit and miss, but... The one thing I forgot to do was switch ships before I done this. Ah, what am I doing? Get out of that. I don't need that. Go to begin salvage. There we go. Yeah, if... if like, basically, when I scrap a ship, it puts my Explorer back in the hangar. Then, then it leaves my interceptor in the hangar, which is fine, but it won't let me uh, get rid of the. It won't let me get rid of the explorer until I until I uh, re reload the save. So I got in the habit of just swapping ships to the explorer before I scrapped one, or before I bought one, and then went and scrapped it, uh, the ship that I wanted rid of. How many did that give me? I didn't even look. All right, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, jeez, that give me three. Nice. Heck yeah, dude. I'll take it. 
But yeah, it's gotten a habit of switching up to my Explorer that it gives me every time I buy a ship or scrap a ship before I buy the that that ship and uh oh my got twenty packs and that way I can uh, swap it for the uh, interceptor after I've done the done the uh, salvage. Go get plays Fallout 76 with Zane and A Train. They never had problems with multiplayer, but the game is not cross platform there. Okay, cool, cool. Hmm. Good to know, man. Good to know. All the text. Look at there, 166,000 nanites. Jeez. Like my my normal mode saves, like pretty much most of them have 250 to 300,000. By the time I got done doing all my rolling, uh, yeah, just check the No Man's Sky cover art. You know, on is on Simon's site and the other section. If you click on it, it's huge. For, oh, cool, cool, cool. Nice. Thank you, Josh. Heck yeah. All right, so how many is, how many uh, slots have I increased this thing by? We're at 93. I think we started with like 80-something. Yes, yeah, so we've, we've already kicked it up about 10. Oh, man. I wish I'd have stuck around and waited on that ship to fly in. The, uh, the, the reason I like doing this in black market systems is, one, the S-classes are more frequent to find or more frequent to spawn as opposed to a high economy. And also, the solar ships are extremely uh, cheap. Like, because of the uh, slot count, uh, the S classes usually only run about six to seven million, and you get back about five or six million from the salvage. So you're only you're only spending one to two million, and they're with the S class, you're pretty much guaranteed at least one augmentation, if not more. So there's a good chance of getting, you know good chance of getting two or three uh with the scrapping and then on top of that you can uh do this little trick with getting the nanites as well so. oh my i just seen what time it was holy cow i can't believe i've streamed this long and it don't it don't even feel like it don't even feel like three hours or three and a half <laughs> Very, very shocking. All right, so let's see. All right, show of hands in the chat. Who wants a tour of my normal mode bases before I close out the stream tonight? If that's something y'all care to see. Let's go hit the station real quick and I'll head back to base and wrap it up for uh, permadeath. Because I gotta go do the work thing tomorrow. After uh, seven days of not doing nothing, <laughs> or nine days of not doing anything. Cool, cool, man. We'll do. Yeah. Being in a semi-vegetative state for nine days is uh, definitely ain't gonna be fun. I had to I had to go do my uh, my duty and uh, go pay taxes this year, this week, so I I had to take some time off to mourn my mourn my finances. Ooh, S class, nice. <laughs> nice Turbo Life, cool cool. I'm telling you, man, I think the uh, autophage characters look pretty good. 
All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and bust these techs up real quick while I'm waiting on some ships to fly in. Anything for the multi tool scanner? Let's see what we got. Nope. Let's see. Alright, done and done. B class. Alright, let's go sell this stuff. A lot of fun putting together my auto page character. Yeah, man. I had to be fair. If I hadn't done the auto phase missions on this one, so I haven't been able to accept all the all the auto phase parts that I've unlocked already on normal mode. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see, so the stream gets a guided tour. I had to do a self guided tour. Mad ever, I made ever be in use. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I want Trago's. He wouldn't prepare for a sword farm. <laughs> I think his fingers were nut, were were sore by the time he got out of there. <laughs> Let's see. Can I go? I can go to the. Oh, I can't go to the front. Let's go to the base. <laughs> He's like, "How do you make stasis devices?" I'm like, "Well, I tell you what. Go ahead and log in. I'll send you to the system." I had him go by uh, the Golden Royal Mint. <laughs> it was like ninety. What did we make? It was like a. It was more than ninety, wasn't it? It was a. I think it was over a hundred stasis devices in one run <laughs> spray my clicking finger <laughs> cool cool all right looks like uh the face is growing in cool cool all my frost warts coming up urge done may have a uh... yeah looks like my star brambles done cool very nice all right let's go to uh mode select 106 there you go yeah <laughs> nice all right let's try my third one i think has the nicest base pretty sure that's the one that had the uh really nice eyes and tan form That's my that's my auto phase. Magic within. What's up, Michael? How you doing, buddy? Good seeing you. Let's see, man, I'm in the system now. Cool. All right, let's go to the settlement and sort that out real quick. So I got an alert for it. Yeah, here it is. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. There's Esmeralda. Ha ha. How you doing, buddy? I ran out of silicate powder. <laughs> I was I was getting ready to pave this entire settlement. <laughs> I got a couple that I've got closely close to all of it paved. <laughs> cool. All right, let's see. I need to go finish. All right, I learned to save before you interact with these things in case you. Sizable Raid! What's up, Gunboat Willie? How's it going? Welcome, Sazzy Raiders. Glad to have you guys. Still in pain, no game, but sustaining. Dude, man, get to feeling better, buddy. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, let's do not ban because I want to increase my happiness here. Cool. All right, sediment happiness is improved. I just started this sediment. No, this is my old sediment. Okay, this is the old sediment. I can't get this sucker to upgrade past A class. Welcome to it, Sazzy. Thank you for the raid. Maxi Bloke, welcome to it, guys. Glad to have you. You're streaming or to skip today. Uh, to be fair, uh, Sazzy, no joke. I knew like two hours before I went live I was going to. It was it was really, really spur of the moment. Um, but heck yeah, guys. Welcome to it. Glad to have you. All right, so let's see. I need to adjust, make that adjustment with my infra knife, like a I was showing earlier. Because like right now I'm getting uh, eighty-one thousand DPS out of that one. Let's go, move that one there, move that one there, put this up here, 
basically i'm just putting my main in the uh, supercharged slot dude ninety six thousand. holy cow all right so yeah just putting that in the main i didn't know that uh tells you how good i am <laughs> but yeah i didn't know putting that in the in the supercharge with this setup was going to blast it up another uh that one went, what fourteen thousand extra so yeah definitely I built a custom ship before I got one of those new multi-tools. You get it to portals. Oh, cool, dude. Shadow Seer, welcome to it. Sweet Sentinel ship. Thank you, bud. This one is uh, on Reddit. Uh, it's an A-class, and you can upgrade it to... Um, is that me right there? I believe it is. You can upgrade it to uh, an S-class, and it gives you that l shape uh, supercharge. Oh, man. I miss you guys. I really, really have. That's the outpost. Let's see, where's my base at? I just had the marker. Am I going to have to teleport there like a noob? There we go. Cool, cool. Heck yes, yeah, Sazzy. And thank you for the raid. Really, really means a lot. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I went back to the frontier outpost, guys. My base is on this planet. <laughs> All right, let's land. Maybe. There we go. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. Yeah, we're uh we were playing permadeath and uh I was getting ready to wrap her up and uh I told everybody I'd take them on a uh one of my base tours or take them around my farm. It's like this one I believe it was, the one I hit max parts on. Which is rare. I've I've in the years of play in this game, I've never hit uh, the max on uh, base parts on a base. Esmeral Super Chat Fiend says, Rock on Sword Nation. Dude, Ash, thank you, my friend. Very, very much appreciated, buddy. All right, so... If you see the little frame ticker in the bottom corner, oh, you can't see it because my camera is in the way. Uh, I'm getting 45 frames a second here. <laughs> this, this, base, this base punishes frames. I doubt I could ever pull this base off on a PS4 without killing it. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go into camera mode here. Oh, it's supposed to be above it. There we go. I don't think I made it any better. Holy cow. There we go. No, no. It's going to be dark no matter what. <laughs> yeah, this this farm uh, does 54 circuit boards and 54 living glass <laughs> per per run. Need a heater? Just play Cyberpunk on PS4. Nice. The masks aren't too bad, Sazzy, because um, basically, I, I would, like you see, I'll have an empty slot on um, on each of these domes. Um, nice. Circuit boards, circuit boards, and living glass only take 15 plants uh, per per item or per unit. So, just knowing, you know, that like a uh, like living glass is two facium, five frost, and uh, eight uh, gamma, and then the the circuit boards are cactus, two frost, uh, four selenium, and eight uh, um, star bramble. And like I said, just getting a routine, like putting all these plants in was fun. <laughs> that took the biggest portion of a night, but I dropped it right on top of a portal, and then I put. Um, let's see, where's my power station at? It's off back over there. It is, but yeah, I built the uh, power station up and uh, built. I had a, uh, I had done more with the, um, with the oxygen, but it it uh, it didn't like it, or it didn't like having all the base uh, parts on it. Like this did have a, I did have like little circ, um little uh, six-sided hexagonal uh, bases at the bottom for my exocraft 
But like I said, I was like 300 parts over for the upload. So I had to go through and delete a whole bunch of stuff. But I had attention span build something like this. Uh, dropped a pick of a sentinel ship I found that I really like. Caught it the blue tick. One of the few ships that really I really hunted S class four. Nice, nice, dude. Yeah, I had um I had found that was one of my like when Interceptor come out. Um, that was one of my favorite things there for a while was uh, hunting for S class uh, uh, interceptors. But like this thing puts out, I think. 50,000 oxygen uh, per day from this, and I'm out of jetpack. Uh, I think this one puts out 50,000 oxygen per day um, or every 24 hours, which for me, oxygen's like on normal modes, definitely uh, hang on a second, guys. I'm back. Sorry some kids being loud or puts out 40,000 okay but it puts out 40,000 a day um which like I say if you hit this thing every day you'll get rich just off the circuit boards let's see and then the power station way back over here did you manage to get all the materials for all the plants or did you do I imagine looking for the recipe for the plants without duping would have been a lot of work no well see I've, I've got a lot of bases um like I've got on this save, I've got a, uh, I had an, uh, um, let's see, this is save three. So I had built, I had already built a pretty decent sized farm and I had, you know, I start out doing, uh, like base, well, like on a new save, I'll generally, I'll go somewhere like, uh, the UAS and just raid somebody else's base for plants. Oh no, Super Chat Fiend says, oops, oh, thank you, buddy. Guys, 07 at Esmeril, freaking awesome Super Chat Fiend. But yeah, just placing all the power supply on these was fun. <laughs> I like how you be, you know, 7 or 800 you away and it just, boom. Uh-huh. Oh, Synthesis, Synthesis, the Sentinel, or Synthesis, yeah. Dude, I love the Synthesis. When they added scrapping to the game, dude, I thought that was the coolest thing. Never got the hang of that reload boost trick. Uh, well, they nerfed it a bit. It used to be much, much easier, but now the, ter the terrain will hinder your, uh, your melee quite a bit. So it, it it's... It's definitely tricky. I think this is the one I gotta have a really full jetpack to get to the top. Yeah, right now the farms will definitely be faster, yeah. Thank you, Ash. You're freaking awesome, dude. Oh, I hit the bottom. Crap. Let's see if I can get on top of that. There we go. I'm gonna rebuild my jetpack. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one of the nice things about normal mode. I've got I've got resources available in normal mode that I don't that I wouldn't have on permadeath. All right, so let's go hit the uh, the rest of the franchise here. But yeah, I just started all my new bases. I started building with that wood for the glass. It just they just look it just looks so much better than the than the old glass paints. All right, so this is the one I built um, when I come back. This is a that base and these next three are in Eisentam, and I think I had to build a uh, I think I had to build one for uh, phosphorus somewhere. Let's see your bases. No, I think this one had phosphorus. Okay, cool. So this is the one. If you go to um, if you go to uh, Zane's World's website, like if you're on normal mode and you need to, and you want to build some uh, you want to build some uh, stasis devices and you're in Eisentam, uh, Zane's World has the location to the uh, system called the Harvest in his sieve. Um, I built this one in the Harvest. It's three bases in that system that will net you sixty stasis devices, and it takes. 
uh, takes about maybe eight to ten minutes to harvest everything, and then probably depending on if you use a uh, if you're using a, a macro, it it don't take maybe another eight to ten to har or to craft everything. But I've actually set the outputs to this base uh, to heart to do 100 th or 100 uh, stasis devices. But yeah, tons of oxygen. Let's see, let's grab a sulfurine. Let's see, do I need, yeah, I need the phosphorus. Grab the phosphorus, cool. All right, and then I'll show you how quick this thing is to run. Especially with upgraded, uh, upgraded uh, movement modules. I need to get salvage data for all five more mode saves. Oh my. Yeah. It's it's definitely a grind. I think um I jumped on I think I jumped on this save. I done all the expeditions and then when I done when I got finished with the expeditions, I jumped on this character or this save the longest. And because this one didn't have access to the uh, stasis devices, or basically, like if you have multiple saves, your saves don't see each other, or they don't they don't cross play with each other. So the bases I build with uh, one save, you can't see with another save, um, and that's always been that way with No Man's Sky. You know, if you get if you got two saves in normal mode, they don't see each other's bases. But the nice thing is everybody else can see both the saves, um, both the bases for each save. But like I said, I had no, um, I had no uh, uh, access to stasis devices other than just a few farms on uh, in the Golden Royal Mint, which didn't. They produce some good farms, but they don't produce the amount of stasis devices I was looking to to kick out. Because I'm one of them people that I want to do it. I want to hit stasis devices one day and not have to mess with it for a couple weeks. But yeah, the salvage data is tough to get. But you can if you uh, do uh, uh, minor settlements. They'll sell two or three of them at a time, but that still sucks as far as outputs. Um, let's see. Let's go to... Uh, if you can get extremely lucky and find a uh, planet that does uh, two of them, or do, does uh, four of them per uh, buried technology, then, yeah, it don't take long to, to gather up a couple hundred. You spend a couple hours walking around a nice lush planet and do it. But, but yeah, it can definitely be tedious. This is what I like about my uh, normal mode. I can uh, just throw all this, all this in my uh, exosuit and walk around with like a million, a million things. Hey, back to bed, pain med time. Esmeralda, dude, thank you so much. And, man, I hope you get to feeling better soon. Everybody send uh, uh, good thoughts and hugs for Esmeralda there. They're chilling on a nice lush, gathering them anyways, eh? Yeah. Find a pretty plant, walk around on. At least I'm stuck on planet. I can take in the size. Exactly, exactly. That's what I usually shoot for. Is if I find a really nice lush planet, I'll drop. I'll drop down at a at a at a free parking somewhere and just. I'll go hit a couple of them, and if 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 they're only giving you like one or two, then I'll just go ahead and bounce out to the next planet or keep keep looking. But if, like I said, occasionally you'll run across a really gorgeous lush planet, or one that doesn't have storms that will the the very technology will give you like a, a three to four of them per and they, they like i said you do like half an hour 45 minutes of walking around the planet and you got 60 or 80 of them pretty easy sir rare please wait oh no <laughs> yeah man that ept has been tricky to get on isn't it But yeah, I laid out, I laid out this farm uh, to where you just run through the domes. And you got it's not near as near as intensive as my bow. Like, cool, cool. Let's see. Oh, nice, Sazzy. I had not seen that before. That's pretty cool. 
Heck yeah. Uh, let's see, number three. There we go. Cool. Uh, tricky is nothing compared. This is the worst I've seen. NPC flying around and rubber banding. Oh no, brutal. So just walk around, nice plant in VR and hang out for a bit. Heck yeah, dude. I I wish I could. I wish I could do VR. But yeah, I mean VR is beautiful, and it's and I. If you have the capability of doing VR, I would definitely recommend No Man's Sky in VR. But I'm be honest with you, dude. Be careful, cause I I dropped uh, 400 bucks on one of those uh, um, Oculus Rifts, and uh, when like when No Man's Sky VR first come out, and I think I got about I may have played No Man's Sky for eight hours total since I've had since I bought that headset. The, my second play session uh, uh, made me nauseous for three days. Like I felt queasy for like three days after that after that three hour session, and I said, "Nope, no more." <laughs> yeah, threat testing when it already is so insanely bad. Bad idea, dude. I'm telling you, man. I've been I've been trying to to not get bent out of shape about Star Citizen's uh, testing and update cycle. <laughs> They, 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 they bit off much more than their servers can handle this week, by all means. But that's the that's the joys of playing the early exit or early alpha. So. Some days it's awesome. Some days it's uh, rage inducing. Yeah, I can't do it too long. Sometimes. Uh, ginger candies at my desk to help though. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I didn't think it was going to bug me, and and honestly, that night didn't bother me. It was the next the next day. I just felt like queasy. For man, it was a, it was a couple days for before I finally got through got it got it out of my system. Uh, that's what you had saying is you haven't seen a VR headset for sale cheap. I'll be honest with you, dude. I still got that uh, Oculus. It's over here collecting dust somewhere on one of my shelves. But yeah, I thought my kid would want to mess. Yeah, I kept it. I'm sure didn't never sell it because uh, I figured my kid would want to play it because he, he got the uh, PSVR for the PS4. I figured eventually he'd want to set up my old my old uh, PC and, uh, and play with it. But nah, he, he don't even want my old PC. Jesus, kid. It's Oculus, but dusty. I mean, these eye drops. Yeah. <laughs> Those yellow box with sizable, buried treasure. Forgot the word. Brain ferrets. Treasure. I only got an X class from them. Damage tech. Oh. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so let me show you how fast this works with a macro. Let's see. Let's go to freighter. Is the freighter empty? It is. Nice. All right. So, dude, setting up a macro on No Man's Sky is probably one of the. I'm telling you guys, if you're on PC and had the capability of doing this, do it, do it. Don't don't even question it. Just do it. This is this flies by so fast. All right, so I need to make. Uh, it was look. It wasn't the. Yellow box from Brain Technology. Where do you get this today? Very odd. Cool. I need eye drops or something today. I got something that Baja Chipotle does to my Oh, God. Uh, what's the name of that game you're telling me about again? Maxi Bloke. Oh, cool. Uh, if he doesn't want it, maybe make a competition prize. So, or drop some more value. Stop showing off your picture. Yeah, poor Tragos has got Tragos has got the wireless version of of the same keyboard I do, but his he, we had trouble getting his uh, macro set up. So he he was he was struggling a bit with this one. Just set macros so I can walk without holding W. The best, nice <laughs> dude. I'm I ain't kidding you, man. I've never never did a macro. All right, this is gonna be how many is a sixty? See six times five. 30. Oh, crap. Let me break out the calculator for this one. I think it's 300, but I could be wrong. It is. Cool. It's a 300 glass. 
There we go. Cool. All right. So let's do. This is where it comes in handy when you have to craft a glass for the living glass. Uh, Final Fantasy VII win. I don't know. I ain't real sure. It when's it? Um, does it go to port to PC, or when does it port to PC, or it has it already? Oh, one too many. Nice. All right, let's see. Living glass. Boom. Going to get macro set up for glitch bidding soon. Since waypoint, I've been struggling to get the glitch timing right. Yeah. That's what uh, who was it was saying that earlier? <laughs> they had macro set up for building or for the glitch. <laughs> All right, let's see. Now we're gonna work on. Uh, I think. Let me double check. I think I've already got. Oh yeah, I got a ton of. Uh, Oh my god. So I've got another um, 52 in here. So that is 110, 100 and, 112? No. Yeah. That's 112. So I got enough for 112. Let's see. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 85. 85. Hunter, dude, thank you, buddy. Much appreciated. Uh, it was five games. You said might like it because I really like Plant Crafter Forever Skies. It's gonna clean. Cool. Uh, April stream day. I have to look back on cool. Yeah. Uh, didn't know you, but I'm a sub. Nice, Hunter. Glad to have you, bud. Welcome to the channel. Nice. All right, so. I need to craft, uh, bu bu see, it'd be another 15 plus 12, be 27, 27. So I got, oh, okay, can't craft in that menu. All right, let's see what I need here. It was a 20 grand team in, son of a gun. Losing my mind here, getting get sidetracked. All right, so that's 20, so I need 27, so I need seven more grand teen, 17, uh, 17 magna gold. Seven grand, seven grand teen, 17 grand magna gold. All right, so do, do, do. All right, so 17, nice. Heck yeah, man, I am. Definitely enjoying it. Definitely love me some No Man's Sky. All right, so now I need, uh, what do I need? Uh, 27 uh, Aronium. I'm doing the math in my head, guys, so you got to bear with me. Cool. Now, that should give me the uh, other iridescent I need. Boom. There we go. Now there's the iridescent. Now, what's that? Was a hundred and a hundred and twelve? So I need two hundred and twenty-four. Two hundred twenty-four of the uh, enriched carbon, nitrogen salt, and thermic condensate. Which I didn't. I didn't. I'm not gonna mess with the ones I already got in storage. I like having nice rounds numbers. What's up, Richard Head? How's it going, buddy? Let's see what I say. Two twenty-four. Cool, let's go to uh, National Salt 224. The KK Toggles Auto Walk. Nice, dude. So many flavors. No, go ads. Oh, no, brutal, buddy. What is up? Oh, man. Uh, Moro Gaming. What did. Marco? I think that's what it used to be. Heck yeah, man. Welcome, welcome, man. Good to see you. How you been, man? Cool, 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 guys. Nice. Welcome, welcome, all you new guys. Mario. Yeah. I knew it was Mario or Marco. I couldn't remember. Heck yeah, dude. Long time no see, buddy. How you been? Oh, my goodness, man. Bringing out the crowd tonight. All right, so we won't have enough space to do the 112 um, 
in the freighter inventory with all that. So we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go here to the uh, ship inventory and we're going to make 112 hot ice and 112 semiconductors. All right, cool, cool, cool. And then that should only leave me 112 semiconductors. Well, I got some in these stores so that will, Hey, I think I like this guy. Awesome, dude. Much appreciated. Glad to have you, man. All right, so we'll go another 112. Cool. So now we can kick over to the cry pumps. There is a lot of crafting with stasis devices, guys. Which, like I said, the macro makes this so much easier. Let's go 12. All right, let's go to uh, superconductor. Boom. Uh, work two, I guess. Use the voice attack. Walk forever. Oh my! Nice. All right, now we we've cleaned out the freighter inventory. Now we can go in here and make the uh, 112 of the uh, quantum computers and the cryogenic chambers. Yes, my favorite game too. I like a lot of games, dude. I've I've mainlined No Man's Sky for so many years. Like I said, it is. It would definitely be a game. It's definitely a game that I will be playing regardless. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm, I'm getting ready to wrap as soon as I finish doing these uh, stasis devices. But definitely, definitely, man. Appreciate it. All right, cool. And let's see. That should be a 112 stasis devices. And that will be, I think, 200 and a half or two and a half billion. Let's see, what system are we in? We are in... Hmm. Let's see what the inventory... What will sell here? Sell for here. Boom. Let's see, it'll be freighter inventory. Ooh, minus 1.3. Jeez. No, it ain't gonna make 12. Shoot. All right, let's go to... Let's go to space stations. Look for... There it is. Nope, that ain't it. There it is. The one that the um, Kanga Akar is where the Eisentam system or the Eisentam galaxy system that has that uh, uh, freighter mods or S class freighter mods. So. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, you get that one. Uh, maybe at the end of the year, you'll be able to get that one if you ha didn't do the. Um, if you didn't do the uh, uh, expedition, but that was the that was the reward for uh, completing the exped expedition. You got it in the A class, and you had to spend some nanites to upgrade it to an S. But definitely, definitely one of my favorite multi tools. All right, so we were going right here, and this one will usually do like three six, three seven, um, yeah, three seven. So it's just under two two billion units for what I just crafted. Uh, now a trick to this, especially if you got a base in this system or you got an anchor that'll bring you to this system, is um, I'm gonna reload real quick and hopefully I'll coax some of the uh, NPCs in. But instead of selling at that galactic trade terminal, which will take days to recover uh, the pricing back to plus three point seven, you can sell to an NPC for like three points, positive three point six. Yeah, I got a new favorite multi tool. Nice. Yeah, there's a there's quite a few of them. Uh, let's see, I got this one was pretty good. I like uh, this Atlantean multi tool or Atlantid multi tool. It's pretty sweet. I like that one, and then uh, this one I believe uh, unprotected dream blaster. Ooh, that is one I can't show y'all guys yet. That, that one is uh, one that, um, basically I'll show that one off when uh, Junt's video uh, kicks. Uh, I actually found that one, I think a week or so ago, um, as a C-class or a B-class in the space station in a, in a black market system and sent it to Junt and him and Lava Lamps went and hunted it, hunted it down. But it's, it's pretty slick. I like it. All right, let's see. Trade from the exit. Or, oh, crap. Okay, before you leave, let me uh, transfer. You can't sell from your freighter to the uh, NPCs. All right, cool. All right, 
trade and let's see, sell. Did I have those at? There they are. Cool. Oh, nice. Plus 3.7. You can't, you're not going to find, you can find up to like plus 4.89 is what I best I've seen for stasis devices. 3.7 is a great price. You're not going to see many stations that have it above plus 3. So, boom. And that is going to cap me on units, I believe. Yes, I just hit the unit cap because that would have been 5 billion if it had kept kicking up the ticker. But luckily, or fortunately, that's a daily. Uh, all, the, all those systems are set up, or all of those forms are set up to reproduce the same amounts daily. So, all right, let's go back to the Tynan. When picking up and getting chill time, getting new kitty toys there. Oh my! Heck yeah, Mary! All right, guys, it is 20 after eight. I started at 15 after four, so yeah, four-hour stream, first time back. So, or, you know, first stream in nine months. So yeah, I think we, I think we got a good uh, got a good stream out today. Let's see, and my freighter, dude. How many of you guys in chat like these dreadnoughts? It's just just a quick quick polling of the uh, four minute stream. You can go longer. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I've done longer, dude. I've been I've done a. Uh, I think I've done thirteen hours in a room before. First time watching. I hope it's not another nine months. So, no, nah, hopefully, uh, Josh. I think the goal uh, for me is going to be. Um, Maybe, maybe Thursday night, Saturday and Sunday for a while. Because I know uh, KJ streams on Fridays now. She used to stream on Thursdays. That's why I never streamed on Thursdays. Uh, but she started streaming on uh, Fridays with Lava Lamp. So I try. Me and hers. She's been she's been a mod forever and ever, and uh, so I don't stream against her and. Uh, I liked him. I haven't got one yet. Oh, dude, Jazz. Heck yeah. Yep, got one level one. Great t detail on it. Dude, man. I, all four of my main saves, three of them in normal mode and the one permadeath, I've gotten a uh, one of the dreadnoughts on it. Heck yeah, guys. It has been freaking awesome. Let me go ahead and uh, get back to me save and get back to uh, my outro Cool, cool, cool. And desktop. Yes. There we go. Oh, wrong button. There we go. All right, guys. My goodness. It's not been bad. It's not been bad. Um. Heck yeah, I'm glad to hey, glad to have you. Awesome to see some new faces in the sh in the chat, man. I really, really, really enjoy seeing all of you guys. Like I've seen some. I've seen some names and, and, and faces in that chat that I haven't seen in a long time that were here. For, like Ryder S was here for the first sword stream, guys. And I'm going to talk about, you talk about like, you know, half, half hearted effort and, and was really poor quality. Now you should have seen it back when I first started guys. It was so bad. Like my very first stream, I was building a circuit board farm on a lush planet with, that stormed the entire time and the rain hitting the, uh, the, the biodomes was so loud. You couldn't hear me talking into my microphone. It was so bad, <laughs> but he, he was a trooper. He hung out the whole stream guys, but yeah, like, man, all you guys has been with the channel for a long time, man. You just don't know. I really, really, really appreciate you guys coming out today. And thank y'all guys for, uh, just being being an awesome community. I mean, it's it's what makes it so hard. Uh, when I take breaks, it's cause it's so much fun to do, and I enjoy doing it so much. But man, I really I'm I'm gonna give it a go this time and try to be really um a lot more consistent with not overdoing it and not getting burnt out. So. Y'all guys, y'all guys bear with me as I work this thing out. And uh hopefully, uh, like I said, with things going on with work and, and, and my life and lifestyle stuff now is uh I'm getting some 
I freed up some more time and uh, less stress, and uh, hopefully that'll that'll help me uh, be able to live stream a lot more or be pretty consistent with my schedule. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my head on the head down this week and uh, try to try to hash out what will be some good days to be like a regular stream days. For right now, it's gonna be Saturday Sunday. Uh, moving moving on past today um but yeah i'm definitely going to do uh definitely going to start doing uh like a saturday sunday and probably one during the week just limit yourself to a couple streams for two or three hours yeah i tried the three hour stuff before man it, it's it's tough man because you, you get that third hour man you get get a you get that 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 second win man <laughs> all right so let's uh let's check out the youtube real quick and uh see if anybody's up and we'll uh, we make us do some raiding Let's see what's Action Pants doing. He is playing Planet Crafter with Sister Sis. Then she's doing Hell Divers. Let me uh, refresh and make sure that is a two subscriptions. Cool. All right, so guys, do me a favor. Let's see. What's, I'm gonna click over here. Let's yeah. mute that real quick and grab a share. Cool. And then let's go to. Dude, it's been a while since I've done this. Y'all, y'all gotta bear bear with me because uh. I have to figure out how to re do the redirect thing again. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Where is my channel? Here's home. Oh, there it is. Your channel. There we go. All right. Cool. I'm trying to remember where everything's at with the redirect is a uh, is always tons of fun. And you have to bear with the loud mouth in the uh, background. <laughs> All right. For those of you that's been with the channel a while, y'all y'all already know I got I got a special needs son and uh like the last probably eight or nine months his uh his uh um he's become a lot more vocal uh with the background and stuff and uh let's see where in the world did i see that redirect at shoot i may have to drop a link in the chat uh but he's gotten a little bit he's gotten, gotten a lot more vocal um there it is cool he's gotten a lot more vocal lately or last several months and uh there we go cool save cool there we go now we got it but he's gotten a lot more vocal and like i said it carries and picks up on the mic a lot the guys that play with me in discord it's just white noise to them now but they they know it's 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 been progressively getting louder and uh, a lot more background uh noise and and whatnot says so i've had apprehension about streaming because of it so you guys let me know it, it, like i said i that's one of the things uh that unfortunately is gonna have to come with the with the live streaming what's up russ beard he's been here yeah, yeah man good 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 all right guys well listen you guys uh we're gonna it's gonna redirect you to action pants gaming he's doing some planet crafter go show him some love he's an old og no man's sky base builder i think you would definitely enjoy hanging out with him and uh a great place to drop you guys off for the for the duration and i will see y'all on the next low. stream peace guys